Hello and welcome to The Wheel Pick, your first overall pick for Draft League content and the official podcast of the Midwest Pokemon League. I'm your host, Paisan, coach of the Portland Tail Blazers. With me, I have a special guest. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm Calvin Toma, uh, the manager of the Michigan Machamps or Cool Building Incorporated. Yep. Not currently participating in the split, but alas, you know, um, my fellow council members. Yeah, uh, we're way in Russia right now. Yeah, Ben, <laughs> ben and Nando could not make it, so... We are uh, we are the ones to do it. So yeah, uh, let's talk about what's kind of different in this season compared to the last couple, since we didn't really do a wheel pick last split. Right. Uh, yeah. I wanted to talk about this as I think that in the last two splits, there's been a lot of changes to the meta. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we've had a point overall that you guys did, which I think was a great success. Yeah. Megas through that have now joined the fray. Joined the fold, if you will. Fold. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we've had. Yeah, so you draft a Mega like normal. You don't have to draft a Mega at all, even if you don't want to. Yeah, which a lot of teams have decided not to do. Yeah. And we can talk about that more as well as we continue. Right. Um, uh, Z moves are now banned. Uh, body press banned. Baton pass banned. Uh, and then I think there was a lot of uh, field condition parity. So weathers have gotten better. It used to be that teams would draft a rain team and it's there wouldn't just be just the rain team yeah and it used to just be only the rain team now there were two rain teams even right exactly yeah i think now that we have uh, viable sun teams we have viable uh ice teams with the hail buff or the snow buff snow excuse buff, me yes yeah and uh you know i think really the only one that's kind of like down in the dirt still is that sand, sand team yeah yeah and even still you know tyranitar and exedril are probably still the best two mon combo in existence you know it, right it's, that's Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant right there. Like, <laughs> it, you know, like, genuinely. Yeah. But, um, yeah, no, and then obviously you have the terrains, which were always good, but, you know, now there's a lot more parity in terms of what mons are getting Grassy Glide, what mons are getting Expanding Force. Uh, electric Terrain obviously has the Quark Drive mons. Uh, all in all, just, like, really solid. Yeah, so there's all these new moves, and I think that there's an overall shift that we sh- should be seeing. Yes. Like, teams shouldn't be playing i think that hyper offense has gotten way worse, worse. Way it's gotten worse. way worse the fact that we've gotten rid of z moves is man has made those teams just harder if they can't punch as hard through the one wall on your team or the one thing that they're missing and that i think has made the bulky offense teams get better and i know we've this league has totally nerfed stall but i think stall has benefited from this too which is weird to say and i that's dangerous speaking of stall we have a Commissioner Ben here. It's uh, it's bulky offense. No, no, no. It's stall. Um, no, I, I agree that um, I agree that getting rid of Z moves probably takes down the firepower of a lot of hyper offensive teams. Mm-hmm. It also takes away kind of the gimmicks of a lot of mods that used to be OUAs but are now OUBs because of the change. Um, but I, I think that just comes with how hard some of the new mons are hitting as well. Some of the stuff that is like, if you look at the Smogon tiers right now, there's stuff that's like in OU that is just hitting like a truck. Dark Rider is in like, OU and it is not even up for a suspect test. It's not even in the top five dark types in OU, which absolutely. is, we should have unbanned it. So yeah, I'm like, I, I know we're removing a lot of stuff from the league at the moment, but like just thinking of like what this meta would look like with Z moves is insane. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I agree with that. Like, with the mods you're adding, it would be really hard to add, add Z moves. And I think that also, you know, the harder hitting mods is also reflected on what's on the board right now. Like, there's a lot of stall on the board, which I don't know if that's right or wrong. You know, the three pink mods right in a row, Chansey, Clefable, Cresselia, uh, and Deoxys are up there. But just mods that would have always been drafted are not picked up. Like, Mega Alakazam, three splits ago, would have been the premier mod, you know, like people would have drafted that first overall and now I, people aren't interested in it. Look, I think people have missed the point of a lot of these mods and I think that a part of it is the fact that you can only draft two OUAs compared to what was previously right. three, yeah. potentially even four if you really want to just shoot your draft in the foot. Like, um, yeah, like I, I obviously that affects it a lot, but you know, uh, at the end of the day, uh, there's a lot more mons in OUA when you add the Megas into the fray. There's just way more. I think Bobby said that OUB and BL combined don't touch OUA in terms of parity. Um, huh. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, maybe in the future, the council can look to 
try to remedy that, but I think that just due to the power level of OUA, dropping them down can kind of like really mess with that economy of drafts, but I mean, yeah. see, we'll see in the future. I have no, I haven't looked at any Pokemon specifically, but um, I think OUA and OUB are going to draft. OUB. 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 <laughs> I think those tiers are going to drastically change over the years. I don't know how they are going to, but I think in the usage that we're going to see in these future splits, even this current one, is going to kind of alter what that's going to look like. Mm -hmm. so. I think that also it brings up a interesting point of like, okay, there are things that teams are adapting to where you have, uh, you have, I see changes in the, what people are drafting, like how they're drafting. Like I think part of, the fact that OUA is so big now is you have people who are going after what they see as the best OUA on the board. Yep. And then three people did this. Uh, it was Fernando. Three, three people in particular did this, but yeah. a lot of people have been doing this in general. Yes. Fernando, Ben, and uh, Tyler. Tyler, thank you. I couldn't find his name. Yeah. Uh, they all drafted the best OUA on the board. They just took the what they thought was the best. Mm -hmm. And then they went for the best value mon. They went for the best BL or the best UU mon. Or OUB. Or uh, OUB, yeah. Yeah. Um, and honestly, you could say Quinn did that as well by going for Feeny second. True. Very, yeah. yes. True. Quinn as well. But they're just, it used to be that everyone would draft two OUAs in a row or one person would draft an OUB. It, it was me. I was the OUB man. Oh, you were the OUB man? Yeah. yeah I would go you know Feeny when... to steal it from Patrick. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. When, uh, yeah, I, I was the OUB man when uh, Urshifu uh, single strike was on the board. Yeah. Oh, yes, of yeah, course, of right. course, of course. <laughs> True, yeah, the you're, you're counsel, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, so yeah, definitely something that we will touch on as we keep going through. Before we do start going through all of these uh, people and their drafts and what we rank them as, um, I would like to quick go over a draft checklist. Eight minutes in, I know, it's a little late, but um, I just want to do this so that in the future, if people are getting ready for the draft season and they're like struggling as to what they should go for amidst the draft, this is what I personally look at and this is what I think would help a lot of people when it comes down to the the, the definitive aspect of what they need to hit in their draft, right? So obviously, you know, you have your standard type cores, and I think that you can't really go wrong with these. You have to get these six type cores, or six types in the cores. So obviously the Fairy Steel Dragon, Fire Water Grass, they cover each other really well. It just works. It just works. I'm not going to explain this and sit down here. But just do it. Fuck you. Um, but yeah, no. I, I if you're doubling up on the types, if you need to go Ferrothorn, like you're getting two for one combo. It's it's really easy. J just do it. Um, so you're saying that it would be best if every team had at least those six types. Yes. If, okay. I think so that's a necessity. You, you downvote a team if it doesn't have I give all them, of those. I literally give them a tick and yeah. I explain why okay um, and then some other quick things that i think all teams need to hit uh get your immunities in shape get your ground type for electric immunity get your flying type for a ground immunity if it's a levitator that works too normal ghost uh dark type for a prankster immunity even i think dark types are really undervalued in this draft i mean i got king gamut at what the 13th pick that's ridiculous yeah um you know, what What do dark types do? Oh, they stab knockoff, they stab sucker punch, dark pulse flinch, pursue. Um, the prankster immunity that I just mentioned, like, I, they're so valued. Taunt users, uh, just, just get I the think dark they're type. also very good in that they, I think psychic types, this isn't a big, as big of a problem anymore, but there was, I think, two or three splits ago. That that first split when I had that Urshifu, yeah. I, I prioritized it because it was the best one on the board, right? But also, I think it was especially good, that split, because... There was just an awakening of psychic types at that time where yeah. every one of them got cosmic power, stored power, and they all got just these, all of these great moves. They all, that was when they first started getting expanding yeah. force. Like, so I think it's less important now for that, but, but it, I still think it, you handle those psychic types and you handle that kind of meta with those. You also handle ghost types with that. Yeah. Ghost, we all know ghost is one of the best types on the board. I mean, literally the three strongest mons on the board, agreed by everyone except for Brendan Tickle, is Annihilate, Goldango, Dragapult. Those are the top three on everyone's list. That says everything. Pick up a dark type. Don't yeah. be stupid. Um, uh, some other things that I really like, obviously I'm a big proponent of pivots. So any mon with U-turn, Volt Switch, Flip Turn, um, fucking Chili Reception, Teleport even. Uh, 
really high value mons. Do you think that every team needs slow pivots or a fast pivot? Do you think they need a combination? I think they need one or the other. Um, one or the other. You don't need both. The more you have, the better off you are. Because the ability to keep up momentum is probably one of the best things that you can do in battle. I think that's interesting, because I, when I draft, I think it's a difference between you and I. I like to have one slow pivot, at least, and one fast pivot, at least. I try to do both as well, but um, I don't fault people who only go for the one if the one is really good. If you have sure. the slow King G with the chili reception, and that's your only pivot. Yeah, I think that it depends on team, too. You know, like, yeah. there's some teams that are like, I'm, I'm, this team needs a fast pivot, this team needs a slow pivot. Yeah. But in general, pick up, I think, one of both. And yeah. You just cover your bases, why not? Yep. Um, obviously, pick up some offensive mons, things that can punch through a wall. Pick up some defensive mons, things that can sit there and give you a wish. I think that's another asset of a defensive pivot is wish passers. Yeah. Um, hazards and hazards control, uh, those are standard. I mean, I think everyone picks up a sticky web mon at this point. It's so common on every team, and we'll go through that again. Um, the one that I've hesitated to put on this list and I will have to go over it in depth while we're going through each team is synergy and I can't quite describe what synergy is without showing you the teams so we're going to have to just go through it but just know I will try to touch on synergies I will try to touch on what synergies you can improve on what synergies aren't that good and we will do that as we go um but okay. Yeah. yeah, I think last note before we jump into the actual teams is we wanted to talk about these because we're going to be bringing them up throughout this. Yep. Uh, so, you know, we're refer back to this time point, I guess, uh, if need be. But I think these are important conversations that Python and I had. Like we came to an agreement before this uh, talk. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that just keeping them in mind will be important as we go through and rank every team. Exactly. Without further ado... We will be starting from the back half of the draft, so at the 16th pick, Jose, Santiago Ho'os, going for the sun team. Wow, it's speaking of those weathers, huh? Yeah. Speaking of those field conditions. Right. This is a sun team through and through. Drafted by me, of course, so you know it's a perfect draft. Put it at number two, yeah. right underneath me. <laughs> I don't know if I'd put this at number two. Um... I think this is a Sun team that can't do much else. Uh, sure is. Yep, it's doing Sun all day long sure and is. nothing else. Uh, not only that, I think it's uh, the team has one gimmick. You know, you illuminate the Sun, it, I think it'll instantly falter. It falls apart instantly. I think that's fair. I think that they're... The thing is, I think that the value of a Mon like Slitherwing and Raging Bolt does exist outside of Sun. I think those mods are really good. Yeah. And they're just made really much better. Right. The other wing was OUA last split until I personally pushed for it to drop because I was like, outside of Sun, what does this mod do? Now it's in a Sun team. Kind of a steal, honestly. Um, yeah, but okay, my my thing about that these are individually good outside of Sun is you're not bringing this, you're either bringing it for the, I'm, out, I'm not a Sun team, or you're bringing the set of, I'm a Sun team. Sure. And when you get rid of the sun in the outside of a sun team, there I think that the sure. goodness of those mons falls apart. It 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 definitely is weaker. I'm not going to argue that. I still think that those mons individually are really good and they can cause a lot of damage, especially on a tier four schedule. Again, it is really down to Jose to pilot this team, and I know that that's something that we've talked about. Um, yeah, I think that's the other problem with the team yeah. is I'm sorry that but we have a newer pilot here, and this is a I think a hard team to pilot. Sure, sure. I think that this is actually maybe one of the hardest teams on the board to be the pilot of. You know, uh, like, I, okay, you have the Annihilate team, there's teams. Okay, yeah. that was a generalization. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. One yes. of the harder. Okay, we'll say the hardest. One of the it, harder. It's hard to pilot, sure. I'll give you that. Um, but, yeah, no, I... Yeah, uh, what else do I have to say about this team? Because I had some things on my checklist that... Uh, I had to put about Jose. Oh, right. No, no, no. Um, so instead of a checklist for certain teams, um, I just have to evaluate them based on synergies because of the fact that some of these teams are playing around their gimmick and they are not going to hit their thing. Um, I'm going to just name off the teams in particular that I'm talking about here. It is Jose, it's Nando, and it's Mike. They're not playing around a regular draft. They're playing around their gimmick, so they have to play their gimmick well, which means that... They have different priorities. They have different priorities. Yep. Um, but yeah, and if you were doing rain, you're probably not going to draft a fire type. You're doing the sand, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but I yeah. think, 
uh, there are other problems with this team. In, I think that for me, I don't like when I see a team that has Pokemon that fill the same role. Sure. Um, I think that you know what you could look at typing alone and say, yeah, okay, these two, two mons yeah. they have the same typing, but you know, Marowak, Alola, and Chandelure they have the same typing. They are slightly different than that. One's a physical wall breaker and one's a special wall breaker, but I one's a wall. <laughs> one's, <laughs> uh, I don't like either on this team, uh, but I think that the, this team just has a lot of like its back half is just I don't think is very good. Like I don't love the Chandelure and I don't love the Marowak. I and think those are the big I problems. If I were doing this draft by myself, not accounting for any of Jose's picks, uh-huh. I probably would not have gone for the Chandelure or the Marowak. I would have prioritized fire types that are better mm-hmm. the outside of the sun. Yeah, um, right. I, For example, I think Arcanine Peace was still on the board when I was doing that Vaporeon Gudra go around. I probably would have picked that up because I think that mon's really strong. You know, what's still on the board is uh, Darmanitan. Darmanitan, Darmanitan is still, still on the board. board. It functions very well outside the sun. It's in sun as well. In yeah. sun as well. Uh, I just think that the ones he picked are just, I wouldn't go for. I don't think that the ghost type immunity even is functioning well with this team. Maybe it's helping the Slitherwing out a little bit, but... Uh, more so helping the Gudra out a little bit, honestly. Um, but oh, yeah. true, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I I don't value that aspect of this draft too highly. Yep. I do think that any waiver that this team makes instantly makes it better. Yeah, I agree. Getting rid of those weaker picks. Honestly, I don't really like Shiftry on this draft. Yeah, I think I agree with that. I think that all of the low tier picks outside of Com- Confei, and I kind of like uh, the where is it the Gudra. Outside of those two, I'm not a fan of any of them. The live part's okay. I like I the live part. Live like part yeah. is good. Live part's good. Live part's good. Uh, I like the live part. How do you I think like this? <laughs> how do you think this team deals with uh, bulky fire types and fast ground types? Um, fast ground types probably not very well. I mean, you just got to play the priority game with the Slitherwing, and you have to have the sun with the Venusaur or the Shiftry. Um, Fire types, fire types is a whole other issue. Um, really, I don't think that this team has too good of an answer into fire types outside of just Marowak and Chandelure have to tank that, and you will have to drop them, I think. So um, it might get even a little weaker, but I think the trade-off becomes, yeah, you're going to be weaker to fire types, but how about everything else? Can you blow past everything else? And I think that is kind of what you have to transition this draft into. Mm-hmm. Um, because really, you only get seven turns of sun, and if Torkoal goes down, you have to make the most of those seven turns. So, play to win the game. Fast and hard, that's how you have to do it. Yeah. Uh, I think that you touched on something I was going to also add, is outside of sun, this team just doesn't have good speed control whatsoever. Like, there's no mm-hmm. speed control on the team. Right. Other than, there's priority. Okay, there is priority, but it's, I think, like, I don't, I don't want to call it conditional priority. Like... You have to kill them with the Slitherwing, the first impression on the Slitherwing. If you don't, then they're fine, you know? Like, you yeah. have to do it on that turn. Yeah. If yeah, you yeah. If, if they are bulky enough and fast enough, you don't do it, you know? Sure, sure. I mean, I think the overlap of mons that are bulky and mons that are fast... Right, he already faced it. It's the Scream too. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I think... I, what I mean, I guess, is, yeah, like, I get you have you to have a bug... It has to be weak... It has to be weak or neutral to bug. Mm-hmm. The, the, the fast thing on that team... Has to be weak or neutral to bug, and I guess you know the raging the raging bolt kind of covers some of that up with okay the it hits the flying types it hits the it hits yeah. some of the things that are not weak to bug. Sure. But what about the comfy? What about the comfy? Uh, what about the light part thunder wave? <laughs> okay, you're right about the light part thunder wave. I don't give you the comfy. The light part thunder wave, you're right about. Uh, you give me the comfy, but you give me the. <laughs> you're right. Actually, the light part thunder wave is a very good point because then that the Slitherwing handles the dark types that the Lyopard wouldn't be able to hit. Yeah. You're very right about that. Yeah. What about the shit free sucker punch? Shut, shut the fuck up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> okay. Um, I think that's all the things that I had to say about this team. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I think that it is a, it, it has a legitimate identity. I like that about it. It has strong priority and setup sweepers. I like that. Uh, what I don't like is it's a really hard team to play and it only has one gimmick. Sure. Uh, I think there are changes that you can make that would make this team much better. Yeah. Uh, we, I think, came to them very s- separately and agree on both of them. Yep. Uh, I get rid of the Marowak for Bronzor. Bronzong. Bronzong, sorry. Yep. And I get rid of the Chandelure for Minior. Yep. I think the Chandelure for Minior has to be your first and 
Honestly, it might have to be the only one, but like I, I like the Bronzong a lot. I think the Bronzong provides a lot to the team, and uh, it keeps up one aspect of his team that I'm not going to mention in fear of ruining his draft. But um, yeah, no, Minior literally does everything that this team wants it to do. It sets up rocks, which it doesn't currently have outside of Torkoal. Um, it shell smashes, which he does not have like an immediate threat that people have to deal with. Mm -hmm. And um, it's immune to status moves until you break its thing, and then it has speed control. So that's everything that this team wants right there. And it's also a physical attacker. Like, yeah, pick up Mini Orc. Like, Jose, I know you're listening to this because I'm going to make you listen to it. Pick up the Mini Orc, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I think the Mini Orc is really good for this team. I think that that, sh that Shell Smash just provides a whole other dimension to this team that you have to worry about. And it handles a lot of the things the team hates. It handles those ground types and it handles those fire types. Like yep. one, two, done. Okay, we're good. Boom, acrobatics. We're, yeah. we're out of here. Uh, I think that the Bronzong is really good for this team. I think that uh, it provides a whole nother level of depth. I think it's the best steel type on the board for this team because it is the heat proof mm -hmm. uh, Pokemon. So you have the best steel type for it there. And it is the levitate one. Yep. So another great, you have two relevant abilities for this team. Yep. And then you can run, I think this team can, okay, Jose really wanted to make this a Trick Room team too. Yep. I think that this is the most viable way to do that in one mod. You sure. have Trick Room, and if you're not running that, you can also run those hazards we're talking about. You can slow pivot. You can screen soon. You can And you can screen, which yep. is the other thing that I really wanted. Like if I'm looking at this team, I really want those four Pokemon to have screens in front of them. Yep. I think that overall, screens is at a huge buff mm -hmm. and that teams that with something people might want to add to their checklist is do you have a way to remove screens like yep. outside of defog even do you have like an attacking move that removes screens yep i think eventually we'll see break. That. <laughs> right brick break I, yeah that's the big one I, if you don't have brick break on your team granted if brick break is not hard to fit in it's a yeah. tm dude just draft a mon that can learn a tm and you're yep. probably set um but yeah no that's a big one uh Obviously, I know that we had talked about it last split when we were talking about the Electric Terrain team, but Ice Spinner uh, for Terrains is yeah. also really highly valued and coveted. Right. Uh, I think we'll get... That one's more rare, and I think we'll get to that yep. when we get to Mike's team, obviously. Yep. <laughs> yep. Absolutely, we will. Uh, what would you rate this team? Would I rate Jose? I would rate Jose at ninth because I think that I think that it's really easy to fix. Mm -hmm. I Yeah, no. It's super easy to fix. One waiver, I think, makes this team way better. Um, I am currently using that aspect because it's my team. I drafted it, and thus it is a 9 because it can't go lower than a 10. <laughs> okay, I have this team lower than a 10. Uh, I have this team at a uh, 14th. Um, That's fair. I think that it's just really hard for a beginner to play with. I think that if, if you gave Jose, not gave, if Jose drafted, sorry, a rain team, it would be so it's just so much easier to pilot. I think that just gimmicks are easy to easier to pilot to some degree. I think this is the hardest gimmick to pilot. Sure. And I think that you get a, you get a, it's easier to draft this team to the Sun team because there's more options, right? Yes. You get more wider diversity in typing. Yes. But the Rain team is easier to play because you have two mods with momentum. Yes. And you have two the, the mods. Rain, the Rain team revolves around OUA's Pelipper, Mega Swamper, cover each other's weaknesses. Yeah. You're done already. Right. Yeah, it, everything else is icing on the cake. You get the Kingdra, it's like, oh, yes, the Kingdra. Yeah. I think that it's just a hard gimmick to play, and I think that even... I don't I don't know if Jose will do those waivers. I, I think that you're assuming that Jose does both of them, but I think... I just need the one. I, <laughs> I just need the one. I don't think he'll do... I don't think he'll do both. I don't think he'll do both. I just need the one. Jose, if you're listening to this, I just need the one. Just give just give me the mini or and then play play a week with the Shell Smash Mini or and just sweep through a team, sweep through a motherfucker uh, with the Mini or and, uh -huh. then, and then we call it quits, we pick up the Chandelure back up and we play whatever the fuck we want. Play Memento Chandelure, I don't <laughs> care. Just give me one week. <laughs> okay, uh, let's move on to the next team. Yep, so next team, Alex and the, what was it? Green, Green Bay, Bay Polytoads. Yep. Uh, Alex has the Megalop team and he drafted Ogre Pond Water first overall. Which we both did not agree with. So. Yeah, I think that is a terrible first round pick. Uh, I, I don't even think that this mod is OUA. I think I voted for it at an OUB price, and I was the only one. And yeah, I I don't know. I look if if Nando's going to sit here and tell me that Ogre Pond Hearth Flame is a Mega Hound Doom, <laughs> if Nando's going to sit here and use that as his comparison, then this is a fucking Ludi Cola without the rain. I yeah. I don't care. I'm not I'm not having it. I. 
I think that either because you can't use an item with this mod, and because well, you to, have... to be fair, the item is a one point two. Okay, stabs. sure, fine. We're, uh, we're, it's not not an item; it's an expert belt to your stabs. You are limited in your item choice. It, it is a mega stone. Yeah, you yeah. are limited in your choices. It's a mega hound. <laughs> <laughs> that this mod is severely hurt by that. I think it also has four move syndrome, and I think that it can't Terra makes it. This Te Terra would make it way better. I don't think four move slot syndrome is an issue, issue myself. Because huh? if we're thinking about it, it's either running the SD Trailblaze Cudgel not. Okay, how about off. this? You know what it's you know what it's running. Sure, sure, sure. You you do know what it's running. It doesn't it, have four move syndrome. It has four moves. It has, it has six moves. It has six moves. It has six moves. It has U-turn. Okay, yeah, yeah. It has U-turn. <laughs> that's the other way you, you run You had U-turn, taunt, knockoff, sure. Yeah, yeah. And that's what your o OUA is. It's a mediocre U-turn, not taunt, knockoff set. That's the other way you use this mod. But, but like, it doesn't synergize. This team doesn't synergize with it Yes, either. That's the other problem. talk about the synergy. Yeah. Obviously, the sun synergy is self-explanatory. Yeah. Mons are good in sun. Yep. Wow. Who could have figured? But Ogre Pond W and Mega Low Punny... Like, I, when you're looking at Megalopunny, what do you want to draft with it? You're looking for a strong special attacker, because Megalopunny is the priority fast physical attacker. So you just want a good special attacker with it. And what do you have with this for a special attacker? You have Togekiss and Armor Rouge. Those are your best options. That's fucking pathetic, respectfully. Um, I, I don't know, man. There's so many good special attackers in OUA. I... Mega Alakazam is one of them, obviously, you can't yeah. jack that with it, but, right. you know, Latias is still on the board, um, Aegislash is still on the board, Aegislash pairs really well because it's a ghost type, yep. um, so it's immune to the fighting type that Mega Lopunny is weak to. Uh, shit, Mew is still on the board. Yeah, Nine Tails Alola great. would have been on the board and been fine. I don't know, I like, I think that Nine Tails Alola to me now is a physical wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a special attacker, it's a physical wall. Okay, but hear me out. Thundy T. Yeah, that would have been excellent. Torn T. Right. Yeah. Those right. have been excellent. Ooh, well, Torn. That would have been sick. Volcarona, even, for a setup mon. Yeah. I, there, there were so many good mons here, and if you know you're going for the Mega Lop Draft, which I assume you are because you're picking up the Ogre Pond to avoid it getting sniped from you, whatever, um, I would have I would have prioritized those. Yeah. I think that this, it just doesn't, it doesn't synergize. It, and like, it, it's not just those two that don't synergize together. It's the the rest of the board doesn't like why are you picking up iron hands like what possessed I, I, you iron hands with the low punny is worthless yeah yeah iron iron hands i genuinely believe iron hands was done to spite mike because he saw the fucking iron double iron he's like i'm not letting this happen again <laughs> no <laughs> i'm that's, not letting this happen that's again. pretty funny that's pretty funny but you to ruin your draft like that is ridiculous like yeah, it's not that I've, if if this was a viable money in your team and it, it fucked someone over, I'd be like all for it. I'd be like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. But this team is it's it's not it's not good on this team at all. It, it's it's not good on this team because it doesn't fulfill any purpose that doesn't already exist. You already have the strong fighting type, and it's like oh, it's a tanky fighting type. It's like you don't need the tanky fighting type. Yeah, you needed a good special attacker like again we we talked about what the good synergy with this mon is or you needed a i, I guess a good pivot but like you have the ogre pond for that whatever it doesn't yeah. point being uh look this would have also been a team that benefits from reggie Alecki, and it's not too late uh you can drop the ogre pond for reggie Alecki, drop the iron hands for a better <laughs> mon at oub pricing yeah yeah um i think i agree like the only other note i had about this team is i had one pro written down and my pro about this team was, you know, Megalop doesn't need a team to function. It's it's self-sufficient. Yep. And therefore, it can try to do something on this dumpster fire. It can sure. try to do something in the dumpster fire. Like, it, it, it's some, I bet it'll pull out one or two wins. Yeah, but absolutely. It's going to be that mod doing it. Yeah. Um, what I had for a notes, um, obviously, I think that this team is missing a good steel type. It's missing a good dragon dancer, I feel like. Um... You probably could have used a Pursuit Trapper. I think that Mega Low Punny doesn't necessarily need Pursuit Trappers, but to be able to trap Psychic Types is something that it likes. Um, yeah, fair, fair. Um, and then I think three waivers on this team. You drop the Ogre Pawn, you drop the fucking Iron Hands, and you maybe drop Terrapagos, because I don't think it's that good. Um, and you can elevate this team from what I think is like closer to the bottom five to somewhere in like that top eight. Oh, I don't think so. I think... Even if you were to change a lot on this team. Okay, I have it very far down on the list. You do. Uh, so, yeah, I think you're jumping to, you know, 9 to 11 if you make all those changes. But yeah, I just, 
I, I, I was wondering if this team is repairable at all. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I had a change Iron Hands to Nihiligo. I think that was the change I would make. Uh, I That's think that, fun. Yeah. yeah, I think you, you chip everything down and then you're the, the Megalop is helping with that. Mm-hmm. You, you do have a slight problem with steel types still, but like now, now draft around killing steel types. Like after you pick up the Nihiligo, you can go, okay. What I need to do is kill the other steel types. Like yeah. I pick up Magneton and I'm I'm set. You know yeah. I'm fucking golden after that. What's funny is um he picked up the Armor Rouge and I was just sitting there like Victini's still on the board, my man. <laughs> you could have just you could have completely ignored the Iron Hands, went for the Victini third. This team might have been repairable because Victini is also a really good mon with this team, even if it's another physical yeah. attacker. At the very least, yeah. like, you know, it can be special. It's funny because like a lot of this team is like the shitty version of a different mod. Like Tokikis <laughs> is like the shitty version of like a an Amorous, and then you have Amorous, the shitty version of a Victini, yeah. Colossal, the shitty version of an Arcanine yeah. Sui. It's, it really is. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's such a shame. Muck, which is a shitty version of an Alolan Yeah, muck. yeah. <laughs> okay, where do you have this team? I have this team at... I have this team at 13th. Um, I do think there are three teams worse than it, if only because Megalopunny is that strong that it just completely... Again, I want a Megalopunny banned. I don't think this mod is fair. I don't, I don't want to play against it. I don't want to see it do fake out U-turn. I don't want to see it do fake out power up punch. Yeah, it, 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 it's not a fun shenanigan to deal with. I agree. I still have it at 15th. I think this is the... There's only one other team that I think is worse on this board. Uh, Megalop is going to... Like, is it... It still needs something. You know, like, you can't go... Like, you can't... can't yeah, have, no, I, I, I hear you. I hear you. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> like, you still need something, and I don't think this team... It just, there's no gas in this car. Like, Megalopony is the car, and there is no gas in the car. There's no gas, the brakes were cut. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, the spoiler was ripped off, the wheel was ripped off, no windows. <laughs> car still runs, though. Like, car still it. runs. We're, we're going. If there was gas. <laughs> car can turn on. Um, and that's all that matters, man. There's oil in that bitch. Let's go. <laughs> Full speed. Um, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, we, I think we said all we can about Alex. I, I hope. Look, Alex drafted a 16 worst team in the draft, worst team in the league of yeah. last split, and he managed to make a playoff run. So I think anything is possible. I think anything is possible. I, I genuinely was sitting I remember here at that this now. table. Yeah. I was sitting here at this table in your position being like, this team is unsalvageable. This is yeah. the worst team I've ever seen. Playoff run. So What did he pick up first? It was Glastier, right? No, he picked up the Quack and then he built a Saiyan team around it. Oh, yeah. And okay. it was just like, huh, you could have just went the rain draft. It's like, huh, I could just go the rain draft. Right. And then, yeah, no, like, I don't know. Um, no, sorry, he picked up the sand draft with no sand rush mons. Yeah, whatever. It, point being... Yeah. Oh, I have also something to add. One last thing to add about this team. This is the lowest BST team on the board. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to add that before we move on. Okay, moving on. And yet somehow it's not your 16th. That's so crazy. Yeah, that's so crazy. There's a team that's worse. All right, moving on. Zach, the Toronto Bay Leafs, once again back for another split. Ben, welcome back to the table. Hello. Um, is this the third team? This is the third team. So you started from the back. Yep. yep. No, we were that quick. Yeah. We're gonna be out here in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, actually, thirty-five minutes in and out. Uh, ben, would you make sure to? Uh, can we summon you to talk about your team? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Cool. Because I have some questions for you. I will. I will be here for a bit. Cool. Um, okay, Zach. Uh, I think we we're gonna start with the big gaping hole of the team. Um, would you say it's a Drake Assault sized yeah, hole? Yeah, I think it's a Drake Assault, it's a Drake Assault sized hole. Why did you pick up Drake Assault with no sand? <laughs> like, what no, the normally, fuck? Normally, I'm expecting the Hippopotus from Zach. Not today. Right. Hasn't he done this before? Yes. Taking Drake Assault without anything? Yes. Really? Yes, and then he picked up Hippopotus as a waiver. And that's why I was like, he's going for Hippopotus this time. It, 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 no way he goes for a Shinotic. Okay. I don't know, man. Sure, Palo Sand, whatever, dude. Oh my god. Um... Yeah, I mean, I like the Durant. Did, did he get sniped by by uh, Tyler? Was that what it was? Was he going for Gigalith? I I don't think so because the Gigalith was re- like Gigalith is the third to last pick, and that okay. means that it would have came around this like this way, right? Okay. Yeah, sure. Um. So yeah, no, I I just think that he kind of screwed the pooch on that one. Um. Okay. Even with that big gaping hole, I think that everyone 
when I saw this team, I was like, what the fuck is Drake Assault doing on this team? Uh, I think that even with that, it's yeah. not... Like, I think I overreacted to how bad this team just when I saw Drake Assault. Oh, I okay. actually don't think it's the worst team on the board. No, absolutely not. Um, honestly, the more I like this team, the more I wish I changed my ratings beforehand because I do like more and more aspects of this team the more I see it. Um... I want to quick talk about um, the Cinderace Superior and the Mega Pincer Superior synergies because I think that both of those mons really like the Superior to kind of facilitate speed control as a glare mon. Yeah. Um, and Superior obviously has its own set of potential as well, and clicking contrary Leaf Storm, but because of that, they don't have to run max speed. They can afford to invest a little bit more into HP. I know Cinderace really likes doing that in regular OU, so it can will o wisp mons as well, or it can just bulky you turn out um it can bulk up even um and obviously the mega pincer speaks for itself it has the priority quick attack it can sword dance up um yeah so i think that's really underrated and highly valued i like slow king as a future site yeah um, i think that was it. yes i really like the f- f- slow king future site um jugulus the best thing to pair a future site with is either a fast hitting dark type or a fast hitting fighting type the jugulus is there and it's facilitating that dark type role and i think that's really good obviously and i think that i don't, I don't know everyone talks about ooh, jugulus is not as good as hydragon not as good as hydragon dude booster energy is so free it's such a free scarf yeah um okay i have some problems with this team of course even though i just said it's not the worst team on the board yeah uh i think that i you can overwhelm this team with hazards uh yes, yes i can. think that, you know, the Cinderace has hazards. Hazard control, yes. Yes, uh, but I don't love running it, that move on this. Superior does have defog. It does have defog, you're right. I think really what you do against this team is you put up rocks and you just start whirlwinding. Um, you get rid of the Superior. Sh- sure. You, not the Superior, you get rid of the, uh, or you run knockoff. Like, those are the, you run whirlwind, knockoff, and rocks, and I think this team loses a lot of oomph. Like, the Iron Jugulus, if you can get the Iron Jugulus on the field, it loses its booster energy. Sure, sure, sure. I think teams will really struggle to be able to just do that unless they are the hip power on team, which there isn't one. Sure, um, yeah. But I, I, I say yeah. that, and I, I, I'm i like, I know it's not the number one, like, it's not, I, I don't know it's easier said than done, right? Yes, I know yes. not every team can do that. And most teams can't. That's the other thing. Um, But yeah, I do understand that is a big flaw in the team, Um, and it is something that people looking to face Zach in their division or outside of their division should probably take a look at. Yeah. Um, if your team could at all benefit from sand, you know, make a waiver for one week, pick your mom back up. Yeah. Congrats. You managed to pick up a free win. Right. Um, uh, I also think that this team... Uh, okay, there's something I... One more thought for me. Two more thoughts, and then I have a question for the two people sitting here. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, I think that uh, this team gets way less scary when you just put up a reflect. Yeah, absolutely it does. Um, it's only special attackers that really has um, any kind of mark in terms of hitting hard is superior at your plus two. Yeah, and jugulus. Yeah, I think if you put up that, like, I don't, I don't even think you need to bring the other one. I think you just put those two up and you're good to go. You know, like this team is the lowest spec a on the board of all the other teams. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was actually obviously he's gonna drop the Drake result. I think that's non-negotiable. I hope. That do you he, do you know that, or is or are you assuming that any normal human being? I'm would assuming do that? that a normal human being. <laughs> and look, Zach played out of his mind in week one, so I'm going to assume he's a normal human being okay, again. Sure, sure, sure. And he's not just on military go mode. I shoot, I shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I take the strongest attack. I shoot, I shoot. I'm hoping, like he's just looking at OUB. He's like. Hmm, there's a lot of power in here. Yes. He just goes for a mega, or he goes for honestly, Necrozma's not bad at all. Sylveon's not bad at all. Like just I had Alakazam. Kind of special attacker. Alakazam, yeah, I forgot that's an OUB. Yeah. Um yeah, yeah, no, any anything to help. Shit, this is another team that could use a Victini. Yeah. Fuck it. Uh okay. Now my question that's uh gonna be very controversial, I think. Uh mm-hmm. is Mega Pincer worth supporting anymore? Uh, how so? In terms of hazard control, is is it is the is dealing with the hazard control worth it with this Pokemon anymore? Yes. Now that we've had so many other things come in, is it worth it? I would still say yes. I think the flying type quick attack does it. I think that that's so hard for teams outside of like you need 
some form of a bulky electric type that outspeeds it, or bulky electric type or an electric type that outspeeds it, and that's few and far between. The Mega Manetric was the hardest thing for this team to deal with, and that is over and done with, and it won. Sure, sure. Um, but I mean, like, did it really deal with that though? Like, I mean, shit, man. It what didn't about, what, have we, to deal I with mean, it. We talked about, oh yeah, you put the hats up against the pincer. He put the hats up against the Mega Manetric and just fucking dealt with it, dude. That dealt with it, dude. <laughs> You can't run heavy duty boots on your bolt switcher, <laughs> you son of a bitch. It's over. Well, like, it's a little bit different of a problem. Bobby didn't really do the thing. He just kind of stood there and went, oh, fuck, I'm parrot. Dealt with. <laughs> Dealt with. Look, if you don't see that Miltank is a threat at RE. Uh, no, I think I have on my notes, Miltank is a great low tier and Slowking is a great pivot. Those were my two, like, yes, these are good things. Miltank, yeah. <clears throat> Miltank went up a tier and it is easily the most valuable thing on this team. Yeah. Yeah, right. Um, He he should bring Miltank. No, did I expect to see Miltank it, every week. Miltank did go up a tier. Miltank is an RU. Miltank is an RU. He moved it up. This is copied and pasted from the board. So Zach has the wrong point total then. Because 1060 is his final point total. That's crazy. Well, no thing didn't go up. <laughs> um, That's not even on Zach's fault. I think we just have to tell him, hey, make a waiver this week. What? Is it on the is it on the big board? It's on the MWPL big board. But once again, we have an illegal team. Here's the thing. Like, always remember, the, the spreadsheet board yeah, is not... Yeah the final say on tiers. It is the mwpokemonleague.weebly.com slash big board. That is the end all be all if you want to know what tier. I think Zach's gonna be fucking pissed Honestly, by the, the way. tier ships are the, the biggest thing. Zach's gonna be pissed, man. I don't fucking, I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, 1060 is the, the max, right? Yeah, uh, mill tank is up. Drop team. Drake result for a BL. I, any BL special attacker. Look, I'm no, gonna he go can't. Through. That's his only. Oh no, no, no I like. Nope, never he has another yep. one. Yeah, like I look. I'm looking through right now. Um, <clears throat> Honestly, I drop Palisander Durant. Thing, I think first, and then I go. No, I he, go pick up a, still another BL. That's cool and all. Hear me out. He just goes for the Porygon Z. Fuck the Draco's Alt. Give me a Porygon Z on this team. I like. That. I think I like that. Yeah, I think I like that. That's fine. Yeah. I will. Yeah. I will just leave one more note on Mega Pincer before we too, get too far away from it. Mm -hmm. I think the, there's still a valid path for Mega Pinsir, simply because um, before it Megas, it's only taking 25% sure. from rocks. So if you can build a strategy around Pinsir only taking 75% or 25%, leaving it with 75 Yeah. And then just have that be the only time it's on the field. Because yeah. it's nice in a pinch at the end. Right. Pins. Uh, LOL. Um, <laughs> LOL. <laughs> <laughs> but I I think it still fulfills the role of I'm gonna come in once mega I'm gonna do my damage and then I'm gonna let the rest of my team take care of the what's left yeah so I still think it fulfills that role but when he is bringing it in and out like that and it's actually fully mega that's when it becomes a problem yeah. sure I think that's fair I think that uh, again this is not I'm ask, I'm gonna be asking leading questions yes. to spark conversations. Oh, I sure. believe that Mega Pincer is still worth it. I just want to clarify that. Yes, okay, now that so I've had the rise out of you two, uh, Mega Pincer is the best mod on the board, man. Uh, Everyone should pick it up first pick overall. I think, I took that personally. Good, because uh, it was personal. Uh, <laughs> I think that I think that it is the it's it's like Annihilate for me. It is a high skill ceiling mod but it is still worth it yeah if you are the best player and you're playing with mega pincer it's, so it's really good i should always pick up mega uh, you should always pick up mega pincer <laughs> uh, i think it's much like annihilate in that that you have to it's just it's a really high skill ceiling to play with this mod. i <clears throat> i don't know if i agree that it's a high skill ceiling i mean really the only thing you need around mega pincer is hazard control and i think every team should pick up hazard control anyway so right I, I, my issue is like yeah the cinderace isn't good hazard control like it Court change is good, nice, but you're swapping your hazards for theirs. Yeah. If you want to set hazards, if you're setting up rocks, court change is worthless. Yeah. Um, or they just put up hazards again after you court change. Yeah. Um, yeah and then so, you swap your rocks for their, their, their rocks. For their rocks. Yeah. Swap your rocks for their spikes. Yep. You know? um, yeah. All I said on my things for notes is that Zach passes all of the marks that I would want out of a team. However, I do think that his team could still use a very slight overhaul to just make the Mons more valuable. Yeah. Um, yeah, and again, mm. I think, you know, if he's going to have to drop that Draco's ult um, to keep this team legal, that's fine. 
because there's so much value in BL right now. Yeah. Uh, where do you have the same? Or yeah, we're, we talked about what change you would make. Okay. Yeah. What, where do you have the same? I currently have the same at 14th. So I do think it's a little worse than Alex's. I think that again, it hits all the criteria of a good draft. It's just a little bit disjointed and it needs a little bit of a restructuring just to keep the frame intact. And the frame of this team is Mega Pinsir will win. Yeah. Just focus on that. I have this team at 12th. Uh, so I think it is better than Alex's team. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that uh, the Cinderace is, is worth it. I think that he makes that Drake's ult change. He picks up a special attacker. I think this team gets much better. Um, I don't think it's a perfect team, though. I don't even think it's a perfect team when he makes all those changes. I think that it, it's going to be... It's His first couple of weeks, he's going to have to play really well. Uh, and then hopefully things get easier after he makes those changes. And I think this team... Uh, even after you make all those changes, I don't think this team can jump to past eighth. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's fair. I don't know if I necessarily agree. I would need to see what the changes are. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. And Zach's a good drafter. Zach's clearly taking this split seriously after week one. So yeah, I, I can hope that he pulls it through. I want to see Zach at tier one battler once more, man. That was that was peak Zach. But moving on. The best team in the draft. <laughs> It's me, it's me. I'm the best team. Go ahead, break me one. Let's move on. Patrick. Um, yeah, no, I I look. Portland I, Trail Tail Blazers. Are you gonna change your name to Trailblazers now that Trailblazers is a move? Fuck! No, I like the Tailblazers. It's the Charman. That's really good. Fuck! That's really funny because it's the same team. It's the same team name. It's just it actually yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's good. Mm-hmm. I'm writing that one down. Um Yeah, I mean, the main thing of note with this team is that we're going to talk about synergies a lot, and I think that this team has a lot of really good synergies. I King Gambit is, in my opinion, a top 10 mon on the draft, and it fell to 13th is kind of crazy. It's the best Pursuit Trapper in the game. It's the best Arc Puncher in the game. Probably one of the best late game mons with Supreme Overlord. Um, Pairing it with an Iron Moth and a Keldeo, just two strong special attackers. Uh, really basic stuff. Uh, the high drop of Gliscor for a defensive core, Cincino for um, hazard removal, and then from there just looking to fill the bases. So we're bombing sticky webs, Electros, U Turner, slow U Turner, um, and then, you know, filling in low tiers. And then the Thwacky for grassy terrain, which can help King Gammon and Iron Moth with earthquakes, although, granted, it's an iron moth. It's not living in earthquake. Yeah, it's not living in earthquake. No matter what, living in earthquake. Yeah, no, you're fucking crazy. I'm <laughs> uh, making max HP max effects. Right. Okay. Sure. Good morning sun T spikes. Uh, do you have anything else to add before I jump into what I think about your team? Um, I would like to let you add onto what you think. Okay. This team, I texted you after the draft. This team is the fucking goat. Yes, uh, sir. It is. This team is fucking <laughs> crazy. Uh, I think you have multiple win paths with this team. Uh, you have synergies all over the place. Mm-hmm. Uh, Keldy was, I think, the best BL on the board, and you got it. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm inclined to agree. I mean, I picked it up for a reason. Uh, and uh, Cincino got tidy up. Like, there's a bunch of mods on this on this team that just got buffed. Yeah. Uh, and um, and honestly, Cincino and Mousehold should have been swapped places. Yeah. And I did say that um, literally hours after we finished the tier list. And everyone was just like, ah, I don't care. Let them play with Cincino. Yeah. And I was like, all right, fair enough. Right. Like, my only problem with this team is the Gliscor and Hydra Apple share a four times weakness to ice. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, we literally exactly talked about that. I'm like, I don't like that eight times weakness to ice there. But even with that, I mean, the weaknesses are still evened out. Yeah. It, it's it's fine. It's not great. Uh, it's a move that teams can just run. They can just have Ice Beam and be confident. You know, they're yeah. just like, well, I have Ice Beam now. And... Goodbye. Took care of two mons on the board, and now I only need Earth Power for the other two mons, you know? Yeah. Uh, because those are the two resistances to your Earth Power, mm-hmm. is those two. Yep. Uh, I mean, there's others on the board, but like... I have the Rubandi and the Electros. It has Levitate. Um, yes, yes. Those yeah. are another two, but really, you want to be playing around those first two, you know? I want to be playing around that first five. Really. Yeah. But, I mean, I think, again, my draft philosophy is if I'm going to draft a low tier, I want those mons to have um, the utility to the point where I would use them in a battle. And I think that all of my mons do fit that criteria. I brought Thwacky this week, dude. Thwacky's the GOAT. 
Blacky came in, set up grassy terrain, and died. It did exactly what I fucking wanted uh-huh. it to do. Uh, I also think that Mr. Rahim is really good on this team. I, yeah. uh, I think it's really good. Like, the only thing that this team is, like, you don't want people to get in your way. And, yeah. and screens are getting in your way. So, yep. get rid of those, we're done. You know, it's, it's, it's part of that, uh, brick break. It's a better brick break, even. Yeah. Because it comes in... And if it dies, we're if it dies, we're good. If it dies to the rocks, we're good. Yeah, yeah, like it's done its job. Uh, so you're just gonna bring that against those teams. Yeah, easy. Um, it's also well, it's worth noting that in my division, I do have Nando, who is playing the hail team yep. or the snow team, if you will. Um, and I don't have to worry about that because I have the rhyme. Yeah, I think that this team is very good. Uh, it's my first overall. I don't think you need a waiver. Yes, sir. It's my first overall. I don't think I need a waiver. I'm perfect. I'm the best drafter in the world. I don't think it's infallible, but I think that... It's infallible. <laughs> I think that you... I would... Theoretically, you shouldn't drop a game. Uh, I mean... I, uh, yeah, no, totes. Uh, I, look, everyone drops a game. Not me with Blaziken, because it was Blaziken, but everyone drops a game. Yeah, I think we can move on, though. Yeah. I think that it's boring talking about the best team. Mm-hmm. What, what team was it? Python Sagan. <clears throat> oh, I will say, watching the match... Yeah. Um, when Kelvio, I'm pretty sure it was Specs, right? Yeah, it was Specs Kelvio. Specs Kelvio just walloping, like, players hitting for over half, like, with pretty much every hit. Yeah. It reminded me of Gen 5 OU and just how much of a force it was yep, in yep. that meta. So, like, seeing it do that damage was, like, I have it as almost the... nostalgic. <laughs> yeah, I have it as the best BL on the board. It's definitely up there. I would need to take a look at the list, but I think that's a good, that's a safe answer. Yeah. I think yeah. that's a safe, yes. And I mean, it has flip turn now too. It's like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the flip turn is nice, but it had flip turn last, that split. Right, but it was still one tier up. No, it was BLS split. No, it wasn't. It was BLS split. It's been BL for a while. That's, that split didn't exist to me. Um, and I it, picked it up at third, at Third? Cal had it, or uh, Mike had it last split. Yeah, but what uh, he picked it up really early, I remember. He picked it up, like, second or third. Yeah, and I was just like, that's really early. Like, you could have let that drop. His first three were, like... It was Meowskarada, Chandelure, Kel- and Keldeo, and I was just like, what No, the it was Meowskarada, Keldeo, and Snorlax were the top three. And then Chandelure, and, yeah. to, and then he got Nomadal in the fucking 10th pick. I was just like, mm-hmm. fuck you, Mike uh-huh. Burke. Yeah, this draft is hey, dog shit. it's still this on the fucking board. It played out. It was kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, moving on. Patrick Bruce, the Rotom Washingtons. Uh, this is the OG uh, team where we've got a lot of older Mons, uh, coupled with a Samurai. Samurai Hisui. Uh, Patrick went, I'm going to pick up all the webs, uh, just because I'm going to spite people so they can't give me the webs Mons. So let's go through it. It's Slurpuff, Galvantula. And Spite Ops. Spite Ops, yeah. So Spite Ops does get webs. Spite Ops yeah. does get webs, well, yeah. of course so, it's a spider. Yeah. 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 Um, it's literally just, hey... I see all of you going for web. Hey, you guys are getting webs kind of early. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Fuck I think you. as soon as he took Galvantula, I'm like, okay, it's time to take Vickable. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally everyone had to fucking go for the other Wesmons. Um, and honestly, out of the three, I, Slurpuff's probably the best. Galvantula serves its purpose elsewhere. Um, it's if, if Galvantula... Really? If Galvantula is like the best web setter for a certain match, I think it fulfills that role. But, uh... In this team where, you know, your best special attacker is the Heatran, and we've already agreed that the Heatran kind of needs to go on this team. Yeah. Um, the Galvantula is filling that role. Okay. Uh, I also think it's very interesting that this is a very... I know I said that those, like... I, f- I associate some of these Pokemon with Patrick. I associate Garchomp with Patrick. I s- Spide Ops. Spide, Spide Ops. with Patrick. Too. And... Uh, Honestly, two. I would say I probably associate the... Golda Malola and the Moltres with Patrick as well. I don't... Yeah. Okay, the Moltres, sure. I, I, agree, I agree with the Golem. Yeah. Really? I think he's the first one to take it. I think he's, outside of me, the only one to take it. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. But what is different about this draft is it... Patrick used to be the BST king. He used to be mm-hmm. the BST king. It's he used to go he for... He used to draft BST. Yeah. Yeah. And this team has... Uh, it's in the third tier of BST. There's three tiers mm-hmm. where you guys drafted around, like... It's in the lowest of those three tiers. It's in the 500 tier. There's a 500 tier, a uh, 515 tier, and a 530 tier. Mm-hmm. It's in that 510. Five, and then there's and then there's Espos. And then there's Espos team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Sorry. There's there's that Espo team up there. And then uh, there's Alex team at the bottom at 490. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's 499. 499. It's, it's in that five. I counted in the 500. Sam yes. is 
BST is an illusion. <laughs> I agree. No, no, no. It's, no, it's I, not. It's, yeah, it's a agree. statistic. It's a statistic. And it's just very different than what Patrick usually drafts. Yes. Uh, which I thought was really interesting to I, see. I, it, it shows that Patrick's draft philosophy has fundamentally changed. Yes. And it's interesting to note, is that because of the point total reduction, or is that just his play style now? Right. Yes. Yeah. Is he valuing different things because he can't afford he can't afford three OUAs? It's possible. Yeah. It's certainly possible. Yeah. yeah. That might be a good conversation to have with him just off off pod. Yeah. Uh I think this team is missing a lot of things. I definitely think he needs more hazard control. Moltres needs help, motherfucker. Yeah. I, I understand I am hazard stack man. I set up the webs, I set up the stealth rock and the spikes. What happens when they rapid spin on you? Because you yeah. don't have a ghost type. Right. You can't stop them. Right. That's what I think is the main problem, is that there's no way to... I If if I have so many hazards, I want to punish my opponent trying to clear those hazards. I yeah. want a ghost type, and I want a contrary mod. Right. Uh, he doesn't have either of those. Yeah. Like, there's no defiant, there's no contrary. I really wish there was one of those there. Yeah. Like, just go, no, you're not going to defog on me, because if you do, you lose the game. No, you're not going to rapid skin, because you're wasting your fucking time. Yeah. Um, under normal circumstances, if I'm talking about synergies, I like Garchamp Heatran. I will say that. Um, when you're already picking up the Samurai Heesui with it, I'm a little less inclined, because I would probably value a more offensive OUA. Yeah. And in that instance where you have the Samurai, Okurona is still on the board, dude. That's a really good pick. Wait, hold on a minute. You would go to Garchomp Heatran, and uh, then Volcarona. No, no. Were you going to Garchomp Samurai, and then you're looking for the OUA fire type? I Volcarona's see. right there. Yeah, I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Yeah. Also, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I probably would have just went to Volcarona second. But um, again, obviously, we've talked about how the point total reduction has meant that people have valued lower tiers. This is a lesser example of that. Obviously, the big ones are um, Tyler and uh, Nando. And, yep. Yeah. And Ben. Yeah, and Ben. Which we'll get to you. Yeah. You're next. Uh, this team struggles with special attack. Uh, it has one special attacker, and it's Heatran. Golem Alola? Golem Alola no. is not a special attack. My, what what, that is, what that the is, fuck? That, that is not right. <laughs> what the fuck? It says 130 there, though. I'm reading that right, you right? Are, you're reading it, right? <laughs> uh, it's Heatran, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it has no special attackers. Uh, and... He Heatran looks to be the highest special attack, and it's you are already suggesting to remove it. Yeah. I think you drop it for a better, be whoa, better special attacker. <laughs> and even then, um, I like the uh, uh, Age of Slash on that team. Like yes, it, it prevents the rapid that. spin. Oh, wow, it's a special yeah. attacker. Yep. I think it does a lot of great things on that team. That would be his his one ghost type. Too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That actually that's actually really good. It makes team. perfect sense. Will he do it? I don't think he likes that mon very much. Yeah. As evidenced by the fact that it goes undrafted every split. Yep. But it is a high BST mon. <laughs> it is a high BST sure, mon. Sure is. <laughs> sure would bump those totals up. Because you got to count both like... forms. All of them are 150. <laughs> All of it goes up. I, I mean, that's not why I picked that mon. But, like, I think that that's... It really fits well in the Web's team, too. Like, it, it fits on this team. Yeah. No, it, it would. I like the Zangus, by the way, on this team. I think Zangus is really strong. That's yeah. a good last pick. Yep. I, I agree. Uh, it's a good... It's a sneaky sweeper. Yeah. It's an NU you, you have to prep for. Yeah. Um, obviously, I don't I, I think your defense it. might... Your defense stats are mixed with your attack. I think that's right. Um, but also, um, Amber Palm got a lot stronger with the addition of Loaded Dice. We haven't, did, haven't really talked about it because it hasn't really come up yet. Um, yeah. But it, it will be a factor, and um, I am excited to see what he can do with it. That is all I can really say about that. Yeah, I think this is a good time to talk about items. Yeah. Uh, I One of the things that I don't think teams are taking enough advantage of yet, even in their, not in their drafting, but their building, is I don't think they're taking enough advantage enough of items. I think we should be, especially now that without, Z moves are gone. Without Z moves, Well, yes. think of all the new items that have been released. Yeah. You've got Covert Cloak, which yep. just ignores secondary effects. Yep. You Scald got the, is huge. It's, it's irrelevant after you put that yeah, on. Yeah. Um, clear Amulet, I forgot what it does, but I know it's good. Um, I also forgot what it does. So. Yeah. Room um, service. Room service. Room service. Like room service came room. in. I'm pretty sure that was Gen Eight, but it's okay. still one that hasn't been yeah. used a lot. Yep. Because no um, one's drafted the trick room team yet. I think it's good on. I, okay. I, I have a hot take for Brendan Tickle about room uh, and Bobby for they. I think they should be running uh, room service contrary mods. 
Um, well, that take could also go to Zach. Oh yeah, Z yeah. Zach pick up. Oh, I think it's less because than his team service though. would instead of lowering their speed. You set it on the speed. last turn of the trick room, and then you, just you don't have any trick room turns, and now you have a you have a relevant. Your trick room ended strong. Like the the shitty thing about trick room is. It, it ends. Didn't, it ends. Yeah. Like, it ends really quickly. But, like, now you have something relevant that you're doing afterwards. Yeah. Um, also, I think... I A lot of people have just defaulted to, I'm going to run Heavy Duty Boots so I don't have to play the Hazard. Yeah. Game. And that's fine. It's probably good against Patrick, realistically. Right. It, it, there's a time and place for Heavy Duty Boots. Yeah. I don't think it's... As you know... I think people are... Their OU brains are turned on, and they're like, yeah, Heavy Duty Boots are good because OU, OU they're really good in OU. Yeah. And I don't think that's... The it's case. Not I think there's necessarily true. What's the dance item like? The where you copy someone's uh, stats changes. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's you recommended that, it to me one it's week. It's the one that Grafia yeah. used. Mirror herb. Mirror, mirror herb. Yeah. Yes. So mirror herb is the item where if a stat raises on a, the opposing Pokemon, the holder would just automatically get that stat. Yeah. So you would see Grafia do this with Prankster Swagger on opponents, and then it would gain the plus two attack. Yeah. And it would trigger its unburden, which would make it a That's potential hot. super. That's to, fucking hot. To add on to this, there is a new move that came out with DLC 2 called Alluring Voice, where if the opponent has gotten a stat boost on that turn, it has a 100% chance to confuse them. It's a fairy type yeah. move, 80 base power, it's sound based move, so it goes through sub. So yeah, it's, that is a great synergy. It, right. you, run, you run the Primarina with that into a Quiver Dance Mon, they're fucked! They're fucked. They're fucked. It, it, it's the fact that it's a fairy type move, because we've already had something similar to that come out with Burning Jealousy, yeah. which was the fire move that came out in Gen 8. Yeah. Um, this being a fairy move makes it way, way better of a concept. Better. Yeah. So. So there's a lot of there's a lot of good toys that need to be And it goes through used. sub. Like that's the mm -hmm. other thing about it, is it? Like you're running it anyway because it goes through something. It doesn't even hit a Komo'o, it's worthless. Let's get rid of it. Let's move on. What what do we rank Patrick? Um Okay, uh do I have any notes on Patrick before we rank him? I don't. No, I don't. Uh oh wait. Uh I also put that he doesn't have amazing uh revenge killers and speed control. Mm -hmm. Uh that's all I have to say. Amplipom oh. is your speed control, I don't love that. Uh, I think when you have the triple webs, you don't really care about speed control. True. Yeah. Very fair. Uh, but like when you have, there are mons that get around webs. Like how do you deal with those mons? Uh, like how are you feeling dealing with Dragon Ball? I know that's an extreme example. But... Yes. Yes. I, I agree. With the clear body. Yes. Yeah. Uh, or the boots. Because right. again, this is the right. team that you run the boots on. Yeah. Uh, that all being said, I'm going to have the hot take. I think that this is the fifth strongest team. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Right? I think Garchomp is really good, and I'm hoping he doesn't play none of that arm um, helmet, stealth rock, spikes bullshit, because you drafted the Samurai. You don't have to do that anymore. Yeah, you anymore. don't have to do it. Yep. Just bring Scale Shot. Just go through the teams. Bring Scarf. Bring fucking Special. I don't care. Don't fucking set up with this mod. It's not worth it anymore. Um, uh, I don't have it that high. Uh, I know you don't. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna stick to my guns, I think, too. I have this as my 10th highest team. Uh, that's, I think that I'm ignoring Patrick's skill as a battler in this, and just really good player can play around it. I think that Patrick will do well with this team. <laughs> yeah. But I think just mechanically, this team is not there yet. Yes. And it has a lot of things I really like, but... I just don't have it as that high. I think that the heat, the, just the special attack alone, like if they have a physical wall, I don't know what this team does. Again, one waiver, one waiver. Right. Um, maybe two if, at most. Um, yeah. Oh, oh I, I think that this team can jump higher than any other team on the board. It has with waivers. potential. Yes. yes. And I, I, that's what I accounted for. Um, sure. But so, right so, now. One last note, one last note. Sloking G and uh, Samurai is a very scary combo because uh, sure. of the fact that you run in the future site, the Ceaseless Edge sets up spikes, so that's already just like a lot of pressure being put onto the board. Um, and I think, again, when I'm talking about synergies, that's a synergy where I'm like, yeah, that's that's the one. That's that's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking of like how my team matches up against Patty since I have to play him mm -hmm. um, at some point this season. Um, Glow King is like the only thing that, ironically, since he's the Rotom Washingtons, it's the only thing that stops Rotom Wash from just sweeping. Right. So he's running a nasty plot Rotom Wash. You heard it here first. Yeah, you're gonna see it in week one. Yeah. <clears throat> that's you playing week one. You're seeing that week one. No, I'm playing Espo week one. But you're you're gonna see that in week one. Nasty plot Rotom Wash. Yeah. 
Sick. Yeah. I mean, it goes through the Corviknight Volcanian. That's sick, actually. Yeah. I like I I was going to ask you I was gonna ask you about that. Okay. Um that makes me really happy. Okay. I'll have to delay this video until you battle. <laughs> yeah, that, obviously. Yeah. Um cool. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Ben, ben tell um, us about your team. You go first. Sir. Oh shit. Stop. Um Do you want me to direct you to things about your team or do you want to just talk about your team first? Uh look, the the idea around this came from oh, ooh, I really want to draft Hydrapple. So let's find a way to just build a core around that. We were out me and Pison were talking, I think, a couple days before the draft, just mm -hmm. about like, okay, what would go really well with that? There were a lot of things getting thrown. I think you said Mel Metal, Skele Dirge got thrown out. As soon as the Dirge got thrown out, I'm like, ooh, ooh. That's a core. To I can make that. To be quite frank, this was me saying, what would I draft? And Ben going, I'm hmm. writing all of this down. Hmm. This is <laughs> my draft. <right? laughs> Mine. And then I went, fuck you, I'm taking Hydrapple. No, and, and th th fittingly, you took Hydrapple, and I was like, okay, this is this is fine. Yeah. Um, But I ended up, ended up getting Rotom Wash instead, and mm. Rotom Wash just glues all these things together. Momentum, uh, ability to set up, um, you need typing, uh, ground immunity, it's, it really does everything. So I'm really happy with how that's going to perform. Um, getting Gallade, uh, I thought I was going to be taking that like third or fourth, depending on how low it fell. Once I saw uh, Hasui and Samurai go up board, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to take it now. So I got three heavy hitter, physical hitters, which is Mega Scizor, Zarude, and Gallade, mm -hmm. which that team is kind of revolving around. Yep. And then even though the typing kind of matches up. It's Rotom Wash and Vikavolt for the spec A attackers, but they also provide and Dirge. utilities. And Dirge as well. Dirge is more so like, I'm going to prevent a sweep from happening. Sure. That, that's his job. Drudigan is to punish uh, U-Turners on Zarud by just being rocky. Oh, I like that. Sure. Rough skin. So that's its role. And then uh, Gastrodon's glue. Pheasantipity is uh, pivoting glue. Like, that's going to be the fairy type. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to see how I'm going to use that in week one. Or, no, it's going to be week two, but um, that's fine. Swan can know. Um, and then the end of the draft is where, like, it, they seem like bottom of the tier and use, but Wug Trio is going to go hard. Wug Trio might be on my team every game this season. So, anyways, that means that Wug Trio <laughs> will never see the light of day. Yeah. He's not coming off the bench. <laughs> no, no, no. Seriously. No. Wug Trio is an absolute threat. Uh, probably not so much, but I'll still hype it up. The fact that it gets defiant and like 112 speed, like you can just run a bandit set with U turn and it is outspeeding like everything. Callus yeah, Burn, Callus Burn, look at Trio. This is, this, is the, this is the spread. You run banded Gooey and then you run, um, what is it called? Um, Memento. It's a fast 120 speed Memento, you, you but it's paid. also got triple dive, which is a three hit water move for physical damage. So let's say somebody brings in a water absorb mon, which I believe Espo does have for through Volcanion. Uh -huh. Well, he's gonna take my triple dive. Oh, whatever, I'm life orb. I hit stomping tantrum because my move failed. And then I kill the Volcanion with stomping tantrum. That's hot. That's you God. give it to me, that's how it's so like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> he, what? Gave me, he gave me the most canned, like, look at this for, like, but the it, perfect but picture I made of you. But I mean, but I mean, look at the thing, it does fit in a can. Um, it's, it's move spread is so limited, but what it contributes to my team is actually insane. Like, I, I'm not lying, it's going to be on my team every week. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say, He's talking out of his ass. That was a really good example. Yeah. I want to see that week one. <laughs> talking right, let me, out of his okay, fucking ass. That's all I have to add. Go ahead and, and let me know what you think. I, I don't like the triple waters, and I think Luxury is a big part of that. <laughs> right. I don't even think about it as a water type. Seriously. Um, my other thing is, when you have the Rotom Wash, who is immune to the ground types, its only weakness is grass. And then you get the Gastrodon, which is the double weak to grass. And I'm like, oh, I don't really like that. Then, then, you know, you see the mons like Zarude, Caesar, Skeledurge, Deekabolt, and I'm like, ah, I, I guess I can see it. And then the more I look at this team, I'm like, there's a lot of good synergies. Again, that Dirge Caesar core, where the Caesar can't be burned and the Dirge can't be toxic. And then you pick up the Rotom Wash to absorb the Thunder Waves. I, yeah, no, like, it works. It works. It works a lot. This team works on a fundamental level, and I fucking like it. And I hate you for taking it from me. You. Bastard! <laughs> mm, my team now, right? My team. My team. 
I look at this team and I see missed potential. You see uh, missed potential? Yep. I think that this team could have been way better. Really? Uh, I really like the team. I think it could have been fucking goaded if he prioritized a strong uh, dragon type. Other uh, than dragon. As opposed to Jordigan? Yeah. To be fair, the plan was to get high draft one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I would have rather seen a setup dragon. I would have rather um, seen like a dragon dancer or I what I what I, well, you know, one? I can tell you straight up, like what the change would be is I just dropped Drudigan for Tyrantrum. Like because yeah, I was eyeing one. Tyrantrum. Yeah, that's one. Um I mean I think the better one would have probably been I would have dropped the Gashadon for the Flygon. Yeah, yeah. But it's gone, it's not on the board. Uh yeah. I the the change the one the number one dragon I would have wanted on this team is uh, Mega Ampharos. Go ahead. Yep. 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 Oh, I, I already knew. Uh, I well, I think somebody was already who got that. No, no one has no it. One has it. Oh. Quinn, <laughs> I would have. Quinn wanted that would have fucking. I think I laid off it because Nando was talking about taking it. Because I'm like, okay, whatever. Nando know. wasn't taking it. Nando's um, a liar. Well, it was if he didn't yeah. end up with Bax. I don't think you can take it anymore. But yeah. that it would have been insane on this team. I I think I don't pick up Rodham Wash and I and I, what I think this team isn't doing, it's you're getting rid of the steel types really well. You're this team get, handles fairies so fucking well and. Yet you don't take advantage of it at all. Like that's what you're um, missing. Is yes, your... I, I agree. The 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 struggle that I found because I've already started prepping for my first two weeks is that um like I ha I have checks for the fairies, but yeah. I don't have ways to remove them. I don't. I, I really you you're struggling with fairies. Yeah. I think that you're you deal well with fairies. Do you I think I would also think you deal well with fairies. I think you're looking too much at the fact that fairies just don't want to play the game with Caesar, but again, you you turn and then you yeah. get the momentum. Like it, you mm -hmm. like Fezzanimity is the number one. It, okay, it does two. It does three things really well. It kills your dark types. It kills which Dirge loves. It kills the grass types, which the Caesar loves. Uh, but then it the other thing it does is it kills fairies. Like it's the king at killing fairies. Yeah, it's pretty good at. It. Yeah, I mean, I, again, I think we're focusing too much on the on paper, and we should like if we're going into the battle, Caesar Rotom Wash Fezzanimity, Zerud. You have the momentum in 90% yeah. of your matchups. And honestly, what you do with the momentum is you bring in the dirge and you go for game with the torch song. Right. I, I would have I would I would have want what I'm saying is I would have wanted another way to see I go for game. I go for game with uh the the Mega Ampharos agility wants. I go the, for game okay, shut up. I go oh, for over game the Caesar? <laughs> over the Caesar SD? Okay, I go for the game Dragon Dancing once on Salamence. I go yeah, for game I uh some other I, some other way. You've pivoted all these times. Yeah. I just wanted a fast way to go for the, the game. Mm -hmm. all, all outside of Caesar. Yeah. Like I have I I am faster than everything. No one can take me anymore. They're really weak. They all hit take one hit from all these moves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, and the idea is to whittle down opposing teams as much as possible to then get those heavy hitting sweepers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they, but if they're fast enough, you can only take so many hits with them. That's what, that was what I'm saying. With outside the of the Caesar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here, I'll let you in on a secret. Uh, I'm going to be bringing agility on a lot of weeks. <laughs> because With the team... The, uh Several mons. Caesar's one of them. Really? Several mons can benefit from the move agility. So, okay. the, the... And as you're looking at my speed tiers, my yeah. two and use are the fastest things. Right. The next, the next fastest thing is the rude. Now, the nice thing is I'm not dealing with very fast uh, opponents throughout yeah. the season. I think the top, like, I'm seeing Dragapult week one, but, like, that's the lone fastest thing on Tyler's team. Yeah. Swan's team has Latios. Latios yep. at 110, and that's really it. Yep. Yeah. Um, also, you gotta remember that Zarude got Trailblaze, and I've been trying to move this mod up. Hey, 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 quite down now, quite down now. <laughs> Swan is not making it an hour and a half into the podcast. You're good. <laughs> It'll yeah. skip to his section and yeah, he yeah, won't yeah. watch anything right. else. No, it, the the idea with this team that I'm finding a common theme in is whittle down at the beginning, get the hazards up that you need, and then start start use that memento of trio mm -hmm. to get the momentum. Sure. Go sure. into your sweeper and then set up to it, set up for the end game. I just don't think that the, like there are sweepers on this team that function as pivots. They're functioning as better pivots than they do as sweepers. I would have rather seen one Moxie Pokemon. Yeah, that's fair. No, and don't get me wrong. This is not a perfect team, and I'm going to try to see what I can do with it early. If yeah. I do start to run into issues, then that's something that I'm probably going to look. And for. Still a are you willing to let go of Rotom Wash? 
I think there's so much. No. That, okay. No. Rotom Wash, I, it's too centralized on this team for me to drop it. Here's my point. question to you. Are you willing to get rid of the galley despite the fact that you took it at the Yeah, end? right. Like, there's things you invested in so much that I'm like, there's potential to pick up other things here. I'm finding, uh, in the way that I, just in these first two weeks, mm -hmm. I'm finding a similarity with how I'm running Zarud and Gallade, which yeah. they're not really similar mons in like just over the span of what they can do. Yeah. Zarud's more of a pivot, Gallade is more of a just I'm going to hit for really as hard. much as possible. Yeah. Um, I'm finding a similarity between those two, so I could potentially part with Gallade, but I would have to like find something that synergizes even better with this team to do that. Yeah, like I was trying to suggest changes and every one of them I was like, well, he's not going to want to fucking do that because he invested so like such a high pick to yeah. get that Pokemon. Don't get me wrong, I want to make it work, but if it's not working, then I'm I'm ready to make a waiver if I need to. Yeah. This is the man that picked up Con Kelder in the second round, got five kills week one, decided it's not going to work the rest of the week seasons. I'm just gonna drop it now. And Con Kelder ended 10th on the league leaders with five kills, zero deaths, one appearance. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's all I need to do. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think you pick up the, the Tyrant trim and I think that's really good. Yep. Yeah. Or, or alternatively, um, you are still thinking about dropping the Gastrodon, which although it does get Stealth Rock and Spikes, it's good mod. Gastrodon um, is what, my lone ground type? I would need to sub it for another ground type. Which is why but... I'm saying the Flygon or the Zygarde 10%. Yeah, yeah, I, I think those are good options. There was another change that I did where it was, I was trying to get you to, it was, I dropped Gastrodon for Claydol, and then I dropped, <laughs> uh, I think it was Vicavolt for the Mega, uh, Mega Ampharos. That was the, that was the change I liked the yeah. most. It was the one that required the most change to the team. Vicavolt, Vicavolt's novelty the of having the webs right. is why I'm going to try to make it work. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, there are better electric type yeah. sweepers than that. Yep. All right. Thank you, Ben. Cool. What, what, what's my rating? Oh, your rating. Uh, I had you at seven. I had you at three. Congrats, Ben. You're a council member. Yee -yee. Yee -yee. Do you have council members at one, two, three? Is that really fucking real? Is and that four? Is that four? four. <laughs> what the yes. fuck? Yes. What the fuck? Yes. Yes. Which council member dropped? Alex. <laughs> no. Alex in the castle. Tim this council. Oh, yeah. You're Guess right. Which one dropped? Bobby. No. Nando? Nando dropped so far okay. down. <laughs> I have Nando really high up. No, Nando's fucking trash. Okay. Sam Swanson, the Minnesota Victinis. This is the Latios stall bullshit team. It sure is. Um, flip turn, Latios. Woo, uh, Ooh. future sight as well. Luster Purge got a really big buff. It drops special defense, so, so you know. Um, yeah. Really strong. Really better than Psychic. Yep. Cerulege, probably the second best mon to pick up with that. Uh, Cerulege, Latios, I again. That's probably one of the, the best one two on the board. Yeah, best one two on the board in my opinion. Um, I, okay, let me look at the board. I keep talking. I think I agree with that. I just want to go make go sure. Go and make sure to yeah. check, yeah. And then, obviously, the Hatterini, that's one of his staples. It did move up, and he didn't care. Um, Araquanid, I like Araquanid. I like Don Fan. Again, I like a lot of these individual picks, but when I'm looking at the bigger picture on this team, I'm just sitting here thinking, huh, what, how does this team deal with hazards outside of the hat coming in on the hazards? And then when I faced him... I killed the hat, and then he had no way to deal with the hazards. Yep. Um, I mean, yeah, like, the Dawn Fan can rabbit spin, but, like, once it's sturdy's gone, like, it's 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 literally a duck. It's a duck sitting in the water. Uh, I think this team is really good. I think the problem with the team is uh, the Hatterene is the only hazard control, and it's... The Dawn Fan. The, oh, the, you're the, right. The, the Dawn Fan's the duck sitting yeah, in the water. Right. Yeah, right. Sorry. Uh, I hate that how slow this team is i fucking hate how slow like you rely on latios to be so fast and you have to scarf your teraki on every week. right yeah, yeah. you have literally like you you can't scarf anything so you have to scarf the teraki on which just makes it way worse i like the teraki on the team so honestly thank you for dropping it i like justified on this team uh, uh yep i agree uh especially when you like the latios or rule edge if that's your first three i would have been like whoa, this trap is so terrifying, and then, yeah. you know, you pick up the utility mons later, obviously you value the utility. Yeah, it, right. it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Um, honestly, I think that this is the draft that probably could have used the Keldeo the most. Um, yeah. And yep. it's a shame that he didn't get it. Uh, uh, I think the team really wants a Pursuit Trapper. Yeah, I, we actually did talk about this. Yeah, we and, talked about uh, it live, yeah, and I totally yeah, agree. Yeah, I yeah, Latios with the Future Sight, with the Luster Purge, the only thing that's stopping it is a Dark type. Yep. Um, and, you know, how do you beat dark types? Uh, fighting types really help, what Tracheon does. Yeah. And how did you beat the fighting types? Ghost types. So, 
what do you pick up? You pick up a pursuit tracker so you can stop the ghost types in the track. Yeah. It, it, it's real simple. And I think that Cerulea should get pursuit, but because mm. the pursuit doesn't exist as a move, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, I see. Um, uh, yeah. Well. I think that the other thing about this team is the track is going to be so important because teams are going to love not running knockoff under this team. Yep. They're going to be like, oh, give me the knockoff. I'm going to press it every fucking second. But the problem with that is, is that you lose your, your scarf. And you lose your scarf. scarf. Yes. And then you're in, you're fucked. Yeah. So like this team needs more speed control. Yeah. It needs something. Terrakion's trying to do too much. Um, and yeah, it, it, Terrakion and Latios are your two fastest mons at 110 and 108. It's just not good enough. He picked up the webs. But again, when you are the team that everyone can set hazards on, you're also the team that everyone can just get rid of hazards on. Yeah. Like, you don't really have a Defiant Mon to stop that, or a Competitive Mon to stop that. Your Rapid Spin block is Cerule Edge, which, that's also, like, your win condition, condition. Yeah. so you can't really do that. And again, when I was playing him, I was just like, the, the most, the thing that I was fearing the most is that he had Triple Scarf. Right. Because that's the only way that he could beat me, in my right. opinion. Um, I was sitting there like, oh wait, the Terrakion Scarf, the Latios was Life Orb, is the Cerulean Scarf? Is that how I lose? Yeah. And and then there was nothing, and you were like, oh, okay, we're yeah. good. Yeah, I'm like, okay, he doesn't have shit for me. Like, I, I win. Wish passing on this team is probably the best on the board right yep. now. Yeah, for sure it is. Um, Yeah, I, I just, I this team just needs a little bit more tools to make use of. Um, when I was looking at uh, my checklist, um, I noticed that he was missing a Steel type and a Normal type. Um... And normal types are less important to me, but yes, I agree. I think that having a good normal type, because they have a lot of utility normally, right? A lot of normal sure. types have yeah, yeah, Thunder Wave, they yeah. have U-Turn. Yeah. Um, it's just good utility, and I think that... Uh, I, I don't really know how to fix this team outside of you know, maybe going for regular Bisharp. And Really? I yeah, I don't think he does it, that's the problem. Because Bisharp has a fetch suit, it has priority. Um, I like the Muck more on this team. I like the Muck, I like the Muck. I'm not going to sit here and say I don't like the Muck, but... Um, I also don't. I also, I, look, I think that Muck's getting picked up. I just don't know which team is going to do it first. Sure. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I was yeah. like constantly looking at teams like Muck goes great on this team. Yeah. He also is missing, like, so yeah, you have the Terrakion and you have the Cerule Edge, but those are your only two real physical threats. I'm not counting Donphan on this list. I don't care if you're running the Rock Polish Earthquake. It's not a real threat. Because um, that's what you ran for me. Uh, mm, sure. So uh, this, uh, that's the reason why I like the Bishop or the Muck. Um, yeah, just some some form of good physical presence that isn't... Because right now, Terrakion has to be Scarfed, and Cerule Edge has to be Shadow Sneak. It yeah. has to be some form of bulk up or SD. Yep. So something that can just kind of click through. Honestly, a Darmanitan would go really good on this team. Yeah, I think I agree with that. Yeah. I think, really, I would rather... I, would want, I just want a fast deal type. I want a fast deal type. I don't want the, yeah. the Bisharp because, I mean, it's pressing Sucker, but my problem isn't... Yeah, I, I get it, what you're saying. It's I, the fairies. Like, I, I, this team needs help with fairies. Yeah, there's not many fast steel types. I think it's just Cobalion, really. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I guess... I, I don't like Cobalion on this team. Things that press a strong steel type move, I guess. that Maybe that's better. Yeah, um, so it's only, like, something with Iron Head. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I This team just needs a little bit more work. Right. I, I'd say two, three waivers. Um, maybe we can turn this from... Like something that's not too good into something that's like. I actually, I think, I think I'm gonna, I think we're gonna disagree with where we put this team. I yeah. really like this team. I've been complaining about it. I think that it would enjoy a good screen scatter. I think the steel type is a problem, but like outside of that, I think it's a really good team. Like, the, it just, I think that the Sarah Ledge Latios, he's gonna get away with so much bullshit. It's he's gonna, gonna be, get away with a lot, especially yeah. with a track on added to. On right, track. like those three are just so good. Yeah. Again, uh, and again, Swan's probably. At his, at his peak, Swan is a top three battler in the league. I think that no one can really fight that. Yeah. Um, and last season, he did manage to play at his peak. Granted, he had a bullshit team. Yeah. <laughs> but um, he played at his peak. And if I... Look, I just want to see the champion do well. I've always wanted to see a champion do well. You're such a fucker. You're such a fucker. That being said... Such a fucker. That being said... I don't have this team very highly. I think I have it at the fifth lowest. It's in my bottom five. What? Um, yep. This I have going, it. Uh, that back. Got it. Uh, I have a. It's my fourth best team. Fourth best, really. So yep. We're on completely opposite. We're on completely team. opposite. Yeah. yeah. I think that it's just there's still th things that this team can do. Mm -hmm. I think that there are problems with the team, but I. Okay. The, the, this the, is my the, one the, waiver, and it's solved. You yeah. know, like like I th I legit think one waiver solves this team. Again, 
that Makalola is getting fought for. I guarantee if he doesn't make that waiver week one, because he's not going to watch this video, because yeah, I'm not dropping right. it until after the weekends. If I think that thing's already gone, dude. I think if we ask Ben before he left, Muck's gone. Ben's gone. Yeah. Um, but there's other things he can do. Like, I think it can be fixed. I think this team really can be fixed. I think it can be a good team. Even even with it, the problems, I still think it's a really good yeah, team. Yeah, I, I can see that. My, my big thing is, because Latios is so untested with these new buffs, because it got three essential right. buffs, um, and prior to this, I was thinking Latios could drop from OUA. I was thinking it was the worst OUA on the board, and I just need more data to confirm that these buffs are even worth a damn. I it's just a slightly stronger Psychic, and oh, I think it's turn. I, I, I think this mod is just fucking goaded. I think that this mod can do... It's it's the new Mew. It's the new Mew. It's the new Mew? Yeah. I, I don't think... It, I, I would honestly say it's closer to, like, a new Miascarada or, like, a new Ashgren. Sure, um, fine. Uh, but it can, it can do more than that. It can do more than that. But the thing is, is it going to do more than that? Especially on this team, it can't. It can't afford to do more. Right, you you are shoving it into boxes. You're yes. saying you have like you have to be this this week, and you have to be this this week. It, yeah, it's not letting it shine as yes. it should. I think that there's a lot of there's just so much cushion it has with this regenerator core. Yeah, I, with I, I see that. I see that. I'm not going to say that the tools aren't there. I'm going to say that I've never seen Swan play with these tools, and I need more time to see what the Latios can do. Yeah, I, I just don't have the confidence in it yet. Also, I don't like this print club pick. I, it's just for a defogger, man. It has flip turn. Ooh, it has flip turn. It has flip turn. Ooh. Yeah, it has rocks now too, doesn't it? Yeah, no. Uh, but uh, even with that, I still don't like this mod. Like, yeah. It's just another thing you run knockoff on. It, like, everything on this team loves its fucking item. And when you get rid of the fucking items, you're like, shit. Yeah. I mean, I have this at 12. I think that two waivers Maybe puts I it. move this down. Okay, come back. Uh, no. Stick to your waivers. Stick, stick, to, my, stick to my guns. Yeah. yeah, so moving forward, we have... Uh, Mike, and now we're halfway through. We're halfway. Um, Wait. Only took us an hour and 33. Oh, I just didn't put Mike fucking down. Okay, I have, I've been helping Mike a lot, so I know what to say about this team. Yeah. Uh, okay. This, man, you want to talk about Jose being a one-trick pony? This man only has the one trick. <laughs> he doesn't even have a pony. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this team is better than he that. Has, he's a one-trick sea urchin. I think this team is much better than that. Um, I Look, I have been the Iron Bundle proponent, right? I think yeah. when, when I'm talking about the top five mons on the board, obviously we mentioned those three ghosts earlier. Yep. Um, Tickle obviously values that Ursaluna, and I think that he's not necessarily wrong for that, and then I would put Iron Bundle right there at five. I again. What about Bax? Just curious. Before we get... To, well, I know we'll get to it later, but what about Bax? Uh, Bax needs the support, and I think that when it's the support, probably ban worthy. Yeah. Without the support, I don't know. Sure. I don't think Bundle needs the support. I think Bundle on its own, clicking Ice Beam, Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, U-Turn, is really strong, probably a little too strong. I Again, I, I don't know for sure, because yep. again, our only data was Nando playing like shit. Yeah. Um, that, that's, that's fair. That's really, yeah. that's really real. Thank you for being so brave. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I, I know. I'm so, I'm so real. Um, but yeah, he has the new Iron Crown, which I think is really good. I, I yeah. like that. I, I was surprised it was at OUB. We want to see it. Too. I we was surprised it. it was at OUB. When we, when, we, when, we, when we went ahead and we shot Coco, we took Coco uh -huh. outside and yeah. we, we... You shot it in the back we, and you said, go, go die. Yeah. We were like, well, <laughs> not... Was I a good Pokemon for a while, but then you got too toxic and you should fucking leave. When we shot Oak Coco, we were like, fuck it, I want to see Iron Crown. I, I know it's going to go with the Pink Urchin draft. I want to see it anyways. And yeah, it's exactly what happened. And I still want to see it. I need to see this mon do well. Yep. And then the Sceptile, really solid pick. Yeah. Obviously, you're stealing it. If it's it really well Tyler. on this game, I think. You're stealing it from Tyler, which I. Thumbs up, man. Uh -huh. Make Tyler draft new mons. Yep. Fuck. <laughs> we'll get to Tyler. Um, I think that this was a really good team. Uh, it has problems. It has problems that. There's, it has the ground type problem. Uh, yes, the ground type problem, which has always existed. I mean, Swan came out of the 10 0, no, sorry, 9 1 yeah. Electric Train draft with a 512 times ground weakness. Yeah. And he won this season. Right. So. I mean, it's the same team. It's basically. It's, it's, it, it's the same it's team. It's a similar team. Uh, right. Corporate wants to show the difference between <laughs> these two photos. What do you mean? They're the same photo. What was his, what was his ground immunity? Didn't he have a ground immunity? Swan? Yeah. 
Swanson Crown Immunity was Iron Jugulus. This Crown Immunity, this Grip is Drip, is drip look, Limp. Look, you weren't there, but I rewatched the video. Um, and literally, when we were talking about your draft, Drip Limp isn't a real Pokemon was brought up so much. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's only fighting weakness immunity is the Drip Limp. I'm like, Drip Limp's not real. Uh -huh. It's like, fuck. It's only Crown Immunity is one that's not real. Drip Limp. <laughs> but Drip Limp's real on this team because it has an uh, burden. I am the number one Drip Limp lover, and I don't think it does enough. It, it like, it's unburdened. It's acrobatic <laughs> stab. Yeah. Right, it does a lot on this team. Strength I like it on the same. It strengths. You know, I love Drift Flip. I fight. Don't get me started on Drift Flip. But it just isn't doing enough. Like I, I think that it's still like the ground weakness is still a problem. Like yeah, the Sceptile I really like, and that's his other resistance. And it, I think a lot of the ground weakness comes from the zone. And to, if I'm being real, what are you talking about? The Brown, Pinkurchin, yes. Entei, Rhyperior. Yeah. I understand Armaldo. that there are a lot of mons that are Armaldo's neutral. Okay, whatever. All the other ones I listed. Yes, I understand that. But I'm saying, in terms of the mon that is causing a lot of that, that sure. four times we just spent from Mana Zone does a lot to make that seem sure. that way. And I don't think the Mana Zone's honestly that good on this team. Yeah. I understand you pick up the Mana Zone to trap for the bundle. Yeah. I think when you're going for the Electric Terrain draft, you no longer need to worry about that. I don't think it's terrible. I think you can scarf the Magna Zone and it's good in the Electric Terrain on its own. Like, it's self-sufficient. It, it's self-sufficient. It's self it does good things. Would I have picked it up? No. Absolutely not. Um... I don't know if I pick it up. Yeah. I don't know if I pick it up. Uh, I know Mike's two waivers uh, yep. because I talked with him at length and about them. I would only reveal the first one that he's made. Yeah, I know. Um, uh, I think the second one is what solves the problems. Yes. Uh, and the first one, though, is Infernape, which I think helps this team a lot. Infernape uh, for the Entei, um, which does fix oh, a lot sorry, of problems. Yeah. Um, it should have been the Hitmon Lee. We should have com no. did the one trick. No, no. The one trick. <laughs> the one piece. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. It's real. Uh, uh, no, I don't, think, I don't think that's the answer to this team. I think it, you want a fighting type on this team uh, to deal with the dark types. Uh, and and is just way better this gen. As it's well. it got but it's it's it was one of my top two mons on the board. Like yeah. of oh my god, that mon is just fucking insane. Yeah. Uh, I'll reveal my other number one later. But it's it's I'm shocked that it wasn't picked. Like it's crazy. It got trick. It got uh, vacuum wave. It got I'm sorry, not vacuum wave. Uh, Aura sphere. There we go. Uh, it got it got so much. Come on, Latias. No, in front I've got all that. Infernape did not get... It got Switcheroo. Switcheroo. What the... It's the same fucking it's move. It's different. <laughs> it's different. It's the same Cal, fucking you move. you don't understand. It's different. Uh, I think Infernape is really great on this team, and I'm really excited to see Mike get um, it, yes. if he does. Uh, and Infernape's just a good mon in general. Like, there's no other mon that 106 speed tier yeah. that can be physical and special. That The physical and special thing is why we banned Valiant. It's why we banned Mega Lucario. Fighting yep. types are notorious for getting banned for that shit. Yeah. Infernape has managed to stay consistent by the fact that its speed tier isn't the greatest, but it's still good. It's, yeah. It's it's really good. It's 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 in that range where you can scarf it and be, and be great. You can put a choice band... And you're pressing Choice Band Mock Punch uh, in, with Iron Chest, and you're like, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah. Uh, or, or you could run the Nasty Plot back to yeah, now. Yeah, right. There's there's just a lot of things you can do with this Pokemon. I really value its versatility. Mm -hmm. I think it brings together this a lot, and it stops it from being too big of a one-trick team. I will say Infernape is probably one of those like sleeper mons where it didn't have a Z-move that it was abusing, but it does lose out from yes. no Z-moves. Yes, I think I agree. Uh, it really liked having Z-moves. Uh -huh. um, I challenge you that this is a gimmick team. It is a gimmick team. It has very few tricks other than its gimmick. I think its functions outside of its gimmick yeah. more than Swan's team did. And its gimmick is the hardest to punish. Well, do I agree with that? I don't think I do necessarily. Again, How do um, I, I, think, I think this function is very similar to Jose's, right? Because it has the slow mon that sets up the gimmick. And if that slow mon goes down, the gimmick is done. And yes, I know you're saying it functions outside of the gimmick, and it does to an extent. But it, it is. I think that I see team. Mike's team bringing not Pinkurchin more than I see Jose's team not bringing Sun. Well, so, so Jose's team's not, bring, not bringing Torkoal. Like, right, but Mike's team cannot bring Pinkurchin and still function as a normal fucking team. As a bundle, Sceptile, Infernape, Rhyperior team, sure. You're running booster energy on the, uh, on the Iron Crown, and you're fine. 
You're only sending it if if sure. you're playing it that way. You're only sending it in once. Sure. If I, you ha you can run the speed set and sure. be like, okay, I'm I am max speed, and I have to run a little bit less special attack. Sure. I, I don't see how that's any different from the raging bolt in the slow the wing. That's what I'm saying here. Uh, Venusaur has to be in sun. Uh, the sure, sure, sure. I mean, I would say that the and he's investing in OUA in his Torkoal. I. Yes, he is investing in OUA and Torkoal. The Pinkerton's not OUA. Yeah, I, I understand. Again, there's a lot of power in BL. Um, and I, I my main thing. This but, is my main concern okay, with the team. Go ahead. Right? My main concern with this team. We personally know what he's dropping the yep. Kamo'o for. The Kamo'o is not good on this team, and it shouldn't have been drafted. And you, you fucking talked him into this bullshit. You know this, right? How did I talk him into it? You were, he, no, 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 no. He came to me and said Kamo'o, and I said. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, you that's were like, wrong. oh yeah, the coverage is perfect between your uh, your Iron Crown and your Kamo. It's so good. I did not talk <laughs> into this. I did not. Don't, no, no, don't put that evil. It also me. just doesn't. Think for the Kamo makes no sense with the Magnezone. The, his what he's slotting in makes a lot of sense with that Magnezone. I would I would hesitate to say that Kamo makes no sense with Magnezone because obviously the Kamo comes in on fairies. So. That's right. Sure. Well yeah. well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But the other one makes so much more sense. Absolutely, it does. It makes more sense on the <sighs> team. I told him to get the other one. I did. Okay. Yeah. I, I think that um, this team. I, I think it's harder to get rid of electric terrain. We can talk about that ice spinner. Uh, most teams don't have access right. to ice spinner. Yeah. Like most teams don't have access to the ice spinner. Most teams can have I, at least. I will a, say, a, Mike has the hardest division. Can we agree on that? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mike has to be in the division with me, Nando, and Bobby. Yeah. Bobby dropped to a tier three the split. Yep. Um, and of the three of us, I think Hitmonchan gets Ice Spinner, so Nando has that settled. Yep. Bobby has the Rillaboom, so he's playing the Terrain Wars. Yep. And he has a Mega Manetric, so he can boost his own bolts. I don't think Mike brings uh, the Terrain that week. But yeah, I don't think he brings it at all. Yeah, I think he just I, goes because I, I think his other, the other thing is his Mons love Grassy Terrain too. Yeah. Like Septile still is like I'm. I'm Jay Chillin. I'm just gonna bring the grassy I'm seed. Just Jay Chillin. Yeah. Um, and then me, honestly, I probably have the weakest time with it because Rhyme does not get Ice Spinner, but yeah. I don't really care. Right. Uh, I mean, you you can run Defog and it will remove the terrain. Defog does remove terrains as well. Yep. Yep. So like that's. I wish he had another Mon, like a contrary Mon. Like I wish he had something like that. Do you think that this is one of those teams where he could drop Madison for Bishop? Because that would also give him. A no. Very, very no, I don't think he can. Hey, I, I'm just saying, I would give him a very good dark type. And uh, is he missing a dark type right now? He is currently missing a dark type. Hmm. Okay, maybe I don't hit it. Um, I think he goes and picks up a dark type somewhere else. I think he, I think, ah, uh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe I do do that. I, I think that the Magnezone works with the f his three highest tier Pokemon after he makes the, Magnezone, the last change. The Magnezone works regardless. I'm just saying. Do you think that is a viable option for him? I think he has to live with dealing with the ghosts and fairies. I think he has to live with it. And if he's going to have to live with it, then he's going to have to play the Iron Crown game to a T. And well, you remove Iron Crown subs with Steel types too. Yeah, I'm saying he has to play the Iron Crown game to a T. He has to play the Iron Crown. I think the bigger up. I think the bigger problem on this team would be Steel types. With, if you didn't have that Magnezone, I think Steel types would be. If you didn't, if you remove the Magnezone, you don't have another Dark type. I think the bigger problem is Steel types. I think that with the Rhyperior, the Infernape, the okay, the Infernape is fair. Yeah, I, I I'm not worried about Steel types on this team. I'm really not. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe maybe that is a change you make. Yeah. Um, I don't hate the change. I don't hate the change at all. Uh, I think it's actually it's defiant. It works really well. It punishes people from defogging your terrain away. Yeah, that's the big one, right? Yeah. And it's also a Pursuit Trapper, so it can... It, res it resists the two moves that get rid of your terrain in Steel Roller and... And Ice Spinner. And Ice Spinner. Yep. Um, and then that Pursuit Trapping, so he can trap the ghosts that tried to abuse the Iron Crown. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and and the new mod that he's getting. Yep, and the new mod that he's and getting. And the new mod he's getting, which we've mentioned a lot. Yeah. People can probably... Guys, he's getting a new mod. Yeah, right. Uh, where do you have Mike? Um, I currently have Mike at six. I have him at six. High five. High five. That's the first time we've been aligned. My, my one note when I was doing the ranking, because I have a note for everyone, Mike, praying he doesn't run into defog. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. I think that actually, the more I fucking think about this, the more I like the... The more I like it. Moving to Thomas. Woo, Thomas! Yeah, Kevin we love Durant. you, Thomas! We love you! Kevin Durant. Woo! 
I like this draft a little bit. I like it a little bit too. I like it a little bit. <laughs> I like it a little bit. <laughs> so let's talk about it. Um, Quack at the eighth pick. Um, there was arguably better minds on the board. Obviously, the bundle. The I even eighth dirge. round. I was like, he got in the eighth round. Hold on a minute. No, the eighth pick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got yeah. it. Yep. Yeah, the bundle, the dirge, the king gamut. We've talked about in depth. There's for sure better minds on the board. I think his his other OUA is the better pick on the board. <laughs> Lando T. Yeah. <laughs> Cal, no one gives a fuck about Lando T. <laughs> it is honestly what shocked me. No Mega Low Punny in this draft, right? Yeah, so uh, Mega Low Punny obviously got taken by Alex on the wheel. So Thomas is sitting without the Mon that he drafts the most. Yeah, and that's really interesting to me. I wish that there was someone a little later that we're going to talk about that didn't get to pick the Mons that they always pick. Yeah. Uh, it's Tyler. Yep. Yeah. It's Tyler. Yeah. I uh, my problem with this team is I don't like the Pokemon on this team. There, there's no actual problems other than I don't like the Pokemon on this team. Like, I don't like Cleavor. I don't like Shaven. I don't like Kamala. I don't like Swoobat. Like, I just don't like... I like Kamala. I think Kamala has gotten significantly outclassed in the last couple years. Like, it's... Everything's getting rapid spin and... Sure, sure. I still like Kamala. I don't like it anymore. I I like a nice and good, cheap, (laughs) wish, protect, U-turn knockoff Mon. I like it. I'm not. You, you can't convince me otherwise. I just don't like that mod. I, I... Um, yeah. I my thing is I don't like Cleavor and Lando T. Yeah. I I get what you're going for. You want the highest value OUA on the board. You see Lando T. You go on Lando T. Yeah. Um, I think that when you are breaking down this team and you're going, okay, you went Quack Grim Snarl. You're trying to go for the Quack sweep. What's the highest value OUA that benefits from screens? And benefits from right. being with right. a water type. Right. Once again, Volcarona is on the board. Yeah, yeah. Once again, Volcarona is not being picked. Quack gets rabbit spin. That motherfucker pick up the Volcarona. Ah! I think that well, I think that the Volcarona makes so much sense in this team. Like the Volcarona genuinely. Look, I'm just gonna be quite blatant. This is not a top five team with the Volcarona. This was a top right. five team. Right. I agree. Just that three mon core would have yeah. done it. Um, I think that uh, the team doesn't benefit from screens at all. Like that. that there's so many. Like you pointed out. The Volcarona solves so many of my problems with this team. Yeah. Like, it doesn't... This team doesn't synergize with screens at all. The team needs a special attacker, a special wall breaker. Mm-hmm. And this team needs... It needs more. It needs more. Yeah. Um. And, again, uh, the Duraludon is weird because with Eviolite, that Mon is better. Is it worth drafting? That's not for me to say. I think I, it's worth drafting. I think I like it. At fifth. Oh, it's fifth? It was the fifth pick. Oh, it was fifth. That's not for me to say. Um, Shaman got dropped. Is it worth picking no, up No, it's not worth picking eighth? up. It's not. Ah. Swoobat is no longer a good mod. It used to be four years ago. Ah. Lapras is not a good mod. That's what I'll tell you. Yeah. Like, Re- these... Regirock, without baton pass, without baton pass, without body press, not, not a good, good mod. Like, um, all these things with the nerfs. Like, it's, it's like Thomas didn't know that there was a point change, there was banning of a bunch of things and like there was new moves like yeah it was like you didn't get any of those memos yeah i mean that's definitely fair there's also some other things that i think thomas is missing um so i think when you are going for this draft where you are picking up the cleavor and you're trying to play for the rocks and whatever have you you don't have a ghost type you don't have any way to block rapid spin i think that was a really missed opportunity um, I just don't like Cleavor. I actually don't think Cleavor is good. Sure. I yeah. I hesitate to say that Cleavor is bad. I'm going to just say that I don't like Cleavor. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like Cleavor. Um, I think that there were way better Mons at BL price. Honestly, I'm going to look right now just to see. Because I know that you have waivers in mind, but I'm just going to look for myself. I probably would have went Volcarona Mimikyu um, instead of Cleavor Lando T. Yeah, I like that. Um, I think that... The problem with Volcarona, with him picking this up, and why I didn't put it, mm-hmm. uh, is there's a big rock problem after you pick up Volcarona. Uh, I think that there's already a big rock problem. No, no, yeah, but yeah. like, but it's even bigger now. Yeah, sure, it's bigger. Yeah, but a lot of it's down to that Swoobat and that Lapras and that fucking yeah, it's his low tiers. Rotom Heat. It's his low tiers, but it's yeah. it's it's restricting what he can do. Like he has to, he has to pick up the Volcarona, and then he has to make X other changes. I, and like you yeah. can't do, you can't go get any more juice. Yeah, you know? sure, sure, sure. But I think that's what you have to pivot into when you're playing the draft like this, where your top two core is the screens quackable sweep. 
Yeah. You need to play right. into that. Right. You can't afford to not. I even I don't even think the screen's Quark will sweep as what you've like what? So it's, Quark a doesn't, it's a Moximon. I understand, but like Quark doesn't it I don't love it having screens, you know? Like it's gonna be I, I you're like, surviving the first hit, like ah I like it having the screens because it means that you can start doing the Aqua Step earlier. Instead of having to waste a turn clicking bulk up or you have a waste of turn clicking sub, taunt, whatever, you just immediately can start going for that aqua step. Yeah, I agree with that. And that means you can afford to run bandit. Um, Ooh, I was gonna, I think I was gonna say this team feels like it has to run Scarf Quack. Just Scarf Quack, Quack too, yeah, yeah, no. Um, wow, that was a fucking high ass fucking- Square Quack too! Two! <laughs> feel like Mickey Mouse is a bitch. Um, yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I think that this team just needs three waivers. You're in and out. Um, you just need to position yourself to... Again, we talked about how Alex needs to position that Mega Low Punny to do what it needs to do. You need to position that Quack to do what it needs to do. And Alex was the one who picked up Quack last season, and he made a playoff run. Maybe take some notes from that draft and yeah. how it ended and see where to go from here. Um, I think that the other problem with this team is... I really like the Lando. I don't love it. I really like the Lando Duraladon Rotom Heat as a defensive core. But I don't. But yes, go ahead. I think you're going to agree with my problem with yeah. it and why I'm going to eventually say it's. Yeah. I turn change my mind. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't. It feels like it needs like a wish passer. Like that's, that core just wants a wish passer or something. Like it needs a cleric in there. Kamala steps in. I heard you were talking to <laughs> me. I don't like. What is that thing's HP? Like 65. Yeah, it's the greatest wish passer that's ever lived. Yeah, totally. It's the greatest wish passer that's ever lived. Komala to save the day. Yeah, sure. However, did you consider Komala can't be status because of its ability? I, I fucking know that it can't be status. <laughs> I see Komala as a better rapid spinner than a wish passer. It's both. And that's the beauty of it. Stop. Stop. Get some help. <laughs> you, you just, get, you just, get you some just fucking explained help. why this mod is the get value you are you pick. I, claim, I don't like Cleavor. I change it for Toxtricity to get some special help and a different kind of sweeper. I think you can run Shift shift Gear and either of the Shift Gear sets, mm -hmm. the special or the yep. physical work. Yep. Um, so when I was doing... Oh, and it, you get you handle the grass types, which I think this team struggles with, which the Volcarona yes. will solve too. Yes. Yep. Uh, definitely struggles with grass types. Yep. Like, your fucking option is cleave or banded you turn. Yep. Fuck you. Right. Um, or x -Scissor. Um When I was doing these post-draft, um, I put this at 11th, which is over Swan, Alex, and Zach. I think if I were to redo this, I would not have this team over any of them in its current state. Um, I think I agree with that actually. I think if I when I was when I was doing this I put it ninth and I think I would drop it one or two picks mm -hmm. to a, to 11th. Um, yeah, or maybe 12th. Maybe 12th. Maybe I drop it below Zach. Yeah. There's a shell there that's good, I think. Yeah, the the general layout is fine. Yes. Overhaul very slightly, make tweaks. Yep. Um it will just make the game way easier for you yeah. if you do that. I think the grass problem is just way too big right now. Like, yeah. it just needs, you need to solve the grass problem. Grass ghost. Like, if you have a grass ghost type, what is it, what does this team do? The Gore Ghost! Oh! Yeah, right. <laughs> All okay. Right. Bobby Han, the Denver Dark Rise, Rillaboom Jirachi. Jirachi dropped, Rillaboom stayed, picking those up too. Yep. Uh, that's, that's something. That's, that's a good core. Uh, and then managing to get the Enamorous third. I am high on Enamorous. That, 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 picking up that third is crazy. Yeah, I think that fell... Me and Nando had that in the top 16. I, I did too. Yeah. I, I, we did not think that was making it to the wheel. The crazy um, thing is, is there were so many teams that I was like, why didn't this guy pick up Enamorous? You know what the team is? It's Alex. Yeah. yeah. There's so, not. It's There were so many. I was like, oh my god, Enamorous is perfect here. Yeah, but but it is Alex. If Alex goes make a little pony Enamorous, he would have been fine. But we're not talking about Alex. Right, we're talking yeah. about Bobby. And again, uh, you know, weakening the EQs for the Jirachi, giving Jirachi a little bit more healing. Enamorous doesn't get benefits out of Grassy Terrain, yep. but pairing it with the Jirachi is nice because Jirachi can U-turn into it. And then they can try to break through yeah. a lot of Mons. Yep. Um, and then following that up with just like High Dragon, Mega Manectric, um, you have the Ursa Ring for the Eviolite Grassy Terrain, the Trailblaze. Yeah. It's fun. This is this is a fun draft. It's a fun draft. Yeah. My only thing that I'm not too hot on is Empoleon. 
I don't. What? I don't like Empoleon that much. You're crazy. I don't. I don't. He got all those buffs we just talked about. I understand that, and I'm still. Again, I haven't seen those buffs in action in a draft league, so I need to be able to see them in action. And I don't think that Bobby should be bringing Empoleon on a week-to-week basis. I think I... his team is too set on the Rillaboom, Jirachi, Enamorous, Hydreigon, Mega Manetric, and then Glue. And he values the Sableye more as Glue. He values the Rhydon more as Glue. I don't like the Empoleon. I think the Empoleon's really good on this team. I think that, uh, I don't think this team took enough advantage of its grassy terrain. I wish it had an, one unburdened Mon. Uh, yeah, I mean, a Hitmon lead there would have been real nice. Right. Uh, I think that would be so fucking good. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but when you have the Empoleon as a contrary Mon to punish the opponent getting rid of your grassy terrain. Competitive. Competitive. Whatever. Yeah. I think it's really good. Uh, I think that it fits on this team really well. It's that secondary seal type. It's outside of Jirachi, yeah. which, I mean, it's it's, a, it's a steel type that doesn't take damage. It, it takes neutral from fire moves. Sure. That's sure. what I like about it. Yeah, so it can pair well with the Rillaboom Jirachi yes. combo. Yep. I, I think, I again, I would have probably liked a different water type. That's my big thing there. Um, I really like Empoleon, and I, th- I think there are problems with it on this team. Like, the steel, you want a better... Fire resist, I agree. Yeah. But, like, I really like... I just like Empoleon so much that I'm just fine with it. Yeah. That's entirely fair. Empoleon's currently at the UU price, right? Yep. Let me just quick scout through water type UUs that I like just to see if there's anything that I would have taken over it. Okay, while you're looking, yeah. uh, I think that... Tauros. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, I guess Tauros. Yeah. Uh, I would have liked to see... Actually, I really like Tauros. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would have liked to see... A different Mega. I think that Mega Manetric is not strong enough anymore. I think it's, it's at the OUB price. Yeah, I don't. I, no, I, I don't think it's good enough anymore. Me. Pick up Raikou at UU. Yeah. yeah, no, I do agree. With right. That. Um, look, when we were talking about Mega Manetric, there was a lot of discussion between it and Mons like Sandy Shocks, Mons like Zero Aura. Yeah. What is the value of a fast full switcher? And I think I am still firmly on the fence of. There is a place for those bonds. I understand that the place has kind of diminished, especially as speed tiers grow higher yeah. and higher. But still, at 405, it look. I understand you don't get an item, but like 135 special attack is probably good enough in most cases, especially when you get to run the Volt Switch Thunderbolt and just kind of go through teams. I mean, I understand you're playing a hidden power game week to week, but I don't know. I again, when you're pairing this one with the Rillaboom, there's value in it. Sure. There's an inherent value in that. Sure. I mean, it's good. I don't... I am interested to see... There's a lot of question marks I have with this team. I'm like, I'm not sure if this will be good enough. Mm-hmm. And that's one of my question marks. I am not sure the Mega Manetric will be good enough. Good enough. Yeah. Um, I'm not ready to say it's terrible. Yeah. I'm just not sure it'll be good enough. Yep. And I, I understand that. I fullheartedly think that you are in the right to say that. Yeah. Um, and there's also a lot of staple Bobby picks in here, like Flareon. Um, he was he, he was fucking adamant about how good Flareon was good last night. It was like, oh, holy shit, yeah. calm down. I, I I understand it's okay. And the High Dragon's really just a Bobby pocket pick, I yeah. think. And I, I've i seen him it use that. It fits well in this team, too. Yeah. yeah that non's great. So That was yeah. Jirachi so good, actually. I love that. I love that. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of things I really like about this team. Uh... How do you think this team deals with steel types? It's not the best. It's not the worst. I think that, unironically, the way that it deals with steel types is to just keep hitting it with those stab moves. Even if they're not super effective, you're still taking 25-30% off those steel types, and most of them don't have valuable recoveries. And, like, honestly, like, Rillaboom has access to superpower. Uh, Namorous has access to superpower. A Dragon has access to flamethrower, earth power... Manetric Flamethrower. Like, I don't think this team struggles with Steel types. I think that the bigger concern with this team is... I don't know exactly how it's dealing with, like, Dragon Dancers. Because, yeah, you have the Enamorous Scarf. Sure. But outside of that... And if you have to run the Scarf Enamorous every week, I think you do lose out on a lot of value on that Mon. Yeah, I think this team would have really loved a uh, uh, Prankster. Like, it, it, go yeah. pick up Whimsicott for a minute... You're, you're crazy. You're crazy. You've lost, you've lost the plot. You've lost the plot. You've lost the plot. Yeah, maybe that's a little too drastic, but I, I think... Oh, wait, he has Sableye. Problem solved. Problem solved. It, does, it doesn't really do it, but problem solved. Wait, so doesn't it have Thunder Wave? It has Thunder Wave. You have to bring Sableye every week, then, and that's... Yeah, I think yeah. that... 
like, my problem with it is, like, he, there's problems with the team. And Bobby, I talked to Bobby about this, and he was like, he explained them away with the, like, he, he would say, I think he was in this, this room, Sableye has, has that move, you know, like. Yeah. He would say that. Uh, He's very confident in the Sableye pick. I, I will say that. Right. Much. And he, he was like, Enamorous has, uh, you can run Scarf Earth Power, or Choice Spectre Earth Power. And I'm like, I don't... He, he, I, I reject the premise that he's not running Scarf and Amorous every two week. I reject that super hard. I just don't see... I don't want to bring that. I don't like running that on my Enamorous. And like, that's fair. Being um, forced to do that. Like, I think this... I think there's a bigger problem with Steel Types on this team. I'm interested to see, as the season goes on, I think that this team is benefiting off of uh, its terrain, but it doesn't punish its opponents from benefiting off its terrain. That right there is a very good point. And like, that's why I think the steel type is the problem, you know? Like, yeah, I, I, I see what you're saying. I think that when it comes down to it, if I'm him, I'm not fearing the steel types as much. Um, if I were to be, I think that I would probably look into, as sad as it is to say, I'd look into dropping the Empoleon or dropping the Jirachi and picking up something that punishes those steel types a little harder. Yeah. But as it currently stands, I think I have this team at like my four. I have it at my uh, five. Yeah, no, fair. it's a good team. I'm, I'm definitely nitpicking right now. Yeah. Like, yeah, we, we ought, we have to nitpick yeah. to, you know, there, there would be a podcast. Content. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I, yeah, fourth overall, fifth overall. Uh, I said to Bobby immediately post draft, I was like, Bobby, this is probably one of the best drafts you've ever pulled out of your ass. Yeah, um, and he had nothing planned prior to this. He went completely off the big board. And yep. he managed to make something happen. I'm proud of him. Yeah. I think that even his NUs are really good. I think that a lot of the mods got buffs. So I'm excited to see it. Yeah. Uh, I uh, I was going to trade Magneton for Empoleon and then go pick up a different... Uh, um, pick up Magneton and then pick up a different... Water type. Water type. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what would you drop to pick up a different water type? That to be the uh, Mega Manetric for you, right? Yeah. Is uh, there's I think there's interesting Pokemon there. Isn't uh, Dondozo there? Dondozo's there at OUB, yes. Oh, do I like the Dondozo on that team? I don't like Dondozo without a Wish Passer. And right. when the Wish Passer's Flareon, I don't think I like No, that. yeah, yeah. I, I, think it's a, I think I agree with that. I mean, yeah. like, I, I'm just... I'm, yeah, I'm you're spit, I'm spitballing. You yeah. know, I, I was... Here, let me take a look at OUB real quick just to see what is on the board for water types. Not really too much. Yeah, it is just a Dondozo. Uh, it's interesting. I'll say that much. It's interesting. Yeah. Maybe if you can drop another RU for an NU, you can try to go for the Urshifu Rapid Strike. Mm, I kind of like that, actually. Yeah. I kind of like that a lot, actually. Yeah. But, I mean, we're, I'm, then it's nitpicking. The team is fine right nitpicking. now. The team, yeah. is, the team is fine. Yeah. yeah. It's already a top five team. Yeah. Don't don't worry about it I wouldn't much. even change it. Yeah. And I, again, this is another team that hits all the boxes. Right. Um, congrats. You pulled off a successful draft. Yeah. Uh, moving forward. Now, <laughs> we're, we are, uh, we are to the uh, these teams, eh? We're yeah. at these teams. Finally made it. We're to these at these teams. teams. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do you want to say first? <laughs> these teams are so fucking dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking bad. What the fuck? Oh. It was like Quinn gave them a list of mods he didn't like, so he didn't have to play against them, and then just like, <laughs> like what yeah, the fuck? I, I, you should pick up Annihilate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Annihilate's so good. Wait, did he have Annihilate last eight? time? Quinn, ha- so Aaron had Annihilate, and now Aurion has Annihilate. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But you just pick up Annihilate again. It worked so well for Aaron, he got two wins. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, I think this team is the better of the two in a row we have. Hold uh, on one second. Hold, hold, hold. I disagree. <laughs> Continue. Okay. Um. Okay, Annihilate is hard to play for a beginner. It is a really, really high skill ceiling mod. It is. Um, I think Greninja also falls into that boat. Yep, I think I agree with that. Uh, yeah. The team was not built around an Eyelip, other than the first three picks. Like, after um, those first three, why is an Eyelip on this team? I was prepared, I was helping Mike prepare for this team, and I actively didn't bring an Eyelip because I was like, this just doesn't fit. Yeah. Um, I think that's crazy to say because I think an Eyelip is the team. Um, but, you know. And Ali puts the team on its back, baby. Right, but like, okay. Yeah, no, I, I know what you're, I know yeah. what you're saying. Um, yeah, so like I'm scarfing my Annihilate. I guess that's what I'm doing. Here's you what know? I'll say, right? If you're going, you're going for the Annihilate. You're going for the Greninja second. Obviously, you've thought about what goes where with the Annihilate, right? You're thinking about getting a special attacker. Yeah. You're thinking about getting a dark type, so they have to U-turn on you. You're thinking about all this, right? You go for the Sandy Shock's third, fast Volt Switcher. You're thinking about all this. Yep. Why is our Chalodon fourth? Right. What What does right. our Chalodon provide to this team? 
Snorlax, okay, I'm fine with that. Why is Flygon on this team? Yep. Why is Tinkaton on this team? I think after the Fly... I think, no, the Flygon post down to Ariados was um, all Quinn because Quinn had to yeah. pick up the draft. Yeah. Quinn did not do a good job on this draft. Yeah, I think that, okay, what I will say is there's two things that I want to do with Annihilate that I like. I think we have different, very different philosophies about Annihilate. Sure. The way I would build my Annihilate draft is I would take a bunch of fast pivots. Mm -hmm. Greninja and Sandy Shocks fulfill that. Yeah. That, great, we're done. Okay, uh, the other thing I do is I want to encourage my opponent to hit me with U-turns. I want to encourage my opponent to hit me with uh, Poison-type moves and Rock-type moves. Sure. Uh, the things that, you're, my Poison, my Fairy here is a steel type. It has no reason to press a no, but you don't understand the poison C. type move. You don't understand, see, because then, the, you know, they'll earthquake you and then you can bulk up on their earthquake mod. Right, bond. sure, yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And that's why you pick up the archer right, too. Right, right, sure, I'm, I'm totally seeing it now. Yeah. My okay, bad, okay, my so. bad. But like, it, it, there's- You know what's funny? I thought this was going to be a raindrop when I saw the Sandy Shocks are Huh. I thought he was going to pivot into yeah, a Yeah, to raindraft? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, that could be, that could work. It, no, it can't because there's no fucking rain setter in OU oh, yeah. OMB. Yeah, there you're yeah. right. You're right. You're totally right. I just don't get this draft. Like, I don't either, yeah. It just doesn't make any sense. It makes, it's just so, it's so bizarre. Yeah. And it, I, I think the value of all of these mons is just like, like, it's not really there on this team. I think yeah. every, every single mon on this team would have done well on another team. Right. But because now that this man has sniped them all from the board, every other team kind of just had to pick <laughs> up the scraps. Yeah. Like, it's genuinely like, we named three teams that could use a Flygon, and he picked it up at like the fucking sixth round, yeah. so they couldn't get it. Right. It, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm i sitting here thinking, how can I fix this team? And can I do it in five waivers? Look at how many rockers this team has. Hey man, he's a rock man. Yeah, he's he runs stealth rocks. I mean, look, I'm not counting Annihilate as his rock. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but, but when I'm looking at five waivers to fix this team, I don't think I can do it in five. I, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't think I can do it in five. I and you're like this team is 15, and I'm like what? Oh no no, actually this team is this team is there. This team this is team is that yo. <laughs> this, team is, this team is there. This team is is this you one. You think is better than all three of these? <laughs> Right? I have the right person, right? Yeah, you have the right yeah, person. Yeah, I have the right person. I you think are, it's there. You're insane. I think, I think there is some saving graces to this team. I think that he has an Annihilate Greninja Sandy Shocks. That fucking works. I think that fucking works. I, I think this team needs a complete overhaul outside of those first three. Yeah. And again, we talked about how difficult Annihilate and Greninja are to use yep. in a battle. Sandy Shocks is relatively easy by comparison. Snorlax, I think, is actually really hard to know how to use properly. Really? Yeah. I think it's very... It works against your opponent or it doesn't. Like, that's how he's going to play it, but you know? But you have to know when to bring it. Sure, And sure. you have to know... Because it's either you know when to curse or you don't know when to curse. Got it, yeah. Um, that's fine. I agree with that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I just... I, I there's, there's parts to this draft where I'm like, that could be interesting in the hands of someone like Tickle. Yeah, right. He knows exact. He knows the ins and outs of a battle. He knows exactly when to do something. Yeah. Arian, I I hesitate to say that he has that experience, and I don't oh, he think <laughs> I, I don't think that he can do it. I yeah no I I genuinely think this team needs five waivers. And do you have waivers for him? What give me give me something? I didn't have waivers. Oh uh yeah I have one. Uh Tinkaton for Guard of War. Um, yeah, I see it. A healing wish. Yep, healing yep. wish. I did, that was that was the the change. I I think that Gardevoir works really well on this team. The other thing I was going to do was I was going to drop Greninja for Tapu Lele and build a Psychic Terrain team. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. You know what I would have liked more instead of the Lele? Probably the Latias because Latias also has healing wish and it has. I thought about that, kiss. and uh, there was some reason I did. I thought it didn't go well with the. The annihilate itself, because the ghost weakness and the that's fair, and the the you're getting hit. I wanted to encourage. I still like the psychic fairy type because it encourages my opponent to press uh, the bug move. Yep, and it encourages them to press the uh, poison move. Yep, I I fully get that. Yeah, um, like you you're playing this little chip battle, and then at the very end when you get low, yeah. you press that healing wish. Yep, and then you win. Yep, I fully understand. Um, I probably agree with you. Um. Let me think. What could I do with this draft? And I think that Annihilate actually likes not having to worry about priority, too. Yeah. Like, um, you don't have to deal with soccer. Like, oh, great. I, I don't think the Annihilate cares about soccer punch mines. I'm going to keep it real with you. It's neutral, and then it would just get a buff Rage Fist. 
and then it drain punches through them anyways. It's neutral? Yes. Oh yeah, it's neutral. Yeah. You're right. I don't know, man. Do I think that... Is this even fixable? I, you, I. Here's how I would start. It's more fixable than the the next team. I'm gonna get there when I get there. <laughs> I'm gonna get there when I get there. I fundamentally disagree with you. We'll get there when we get there. I think I would have to. I I know what it is. You have to drop this fucking stupid ass Archaludon for Garganacle. And I understand Co Covert Cloak fucks the Garganacle. Garganacle is a a resist to all ghost types with its ability. Oh, it is? Yep. Its ability resists ghost types. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, and it cannot be status, which is the only way you can stop an Annihilate. Sure. Those are fine. Okay, yes. That is a good That is a good change. I would make that change. Its team still needs... It still needs the Wish Passer. It still needs four other. It still needs four of the waivers. That's the first one that I'd go with. I, think I would there's... transition this into a try to make it so that they have to worry about other things. Um, going to Aaron, though. Oh, wait. Do we... Wait, oh, this... uh, I had it at 13. This is the sixth team. This is the worst team. By a long shot. Fifteen is coming up. No, I have I have the next team at sixteen. Yeah, I know, I know yeah. you. Uh which is hey man, he won. He won his game. He won his game. He won his he game won against his Jose. Game. Yeah, he he drafted the perfect counter team for his first opponent. You're and right. He, and you're right. Keeping in mind, he didn't know the schedule before because yeah, yeah, yeah. we didn't have one. <laughs> Picks well, up, he knew eventually. He knew eventually he was going to get one game this season. Picks up Great Tusk, Screamtail, No Sun. I'm just going to let them set up stuff <laughs> for me. Okay, dude, whatever. Anyways, we're talking about Aaron. Brings um, rain to that match, too. <laughs> what, what's, the, what's the team name on this? I forget. Miami Palafins. Miami Palafins, thank you. We talk a lot about synergies. Great Tusk, Ting Lu, terrible synergy. Why? What they the share, fuck? They share what all the of the same weaknesses. Except they Psychic. Share, sure. Except for Psychic. They share Fairy, they share Ice, they share Grass. Terrible. Do not ever do this. And also, what do these mons do? They do the same fucking thing. They're defen in, in most cases, Great Tusk is a defensive yeah. mon. In most cases, Ting Lu is a defensive mon. If you want to run the offensive Great Tusk with the defensive Ting Lu, I guess that works. But why wouldn't you get a mon that covers their weaknesses yeah um it's just it's it's such a missed opportunity and then getting the mouse hold at fourth when it's the, so fucking unnecessary on this team when it's, it's, it's unnecessary and the chinchino is cheaper yeah it's so it's so unnecessary yeah it, why would you clear your own hazards you are hazard man yeah um it's just right it's, yes it's such a missed opportunity and I don't know, man. I don't really care for Screamtail outside of Sun. I think that's pretty fucking mediocre. Hey, do you think there might be a problem with Ice type on the, the Ice weakness on this team? Um, I, what's the Ice weakness on this team? You tell me. Times thirty-two weak. Thirty-two. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> do you think maybe they just might be a small problem with it? it? How much of that is Appleton? <laughs> Times four. Well, yeah, but like still thirty-two. Hey, All man, of Appleton would have dropped that down to a sixteen. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine, it's fine. Yeah, but I think that sign of Appleton's maybe not good on this team. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, there's a lot of things that are not good on this team. It's, the main issue with this team is that outside of the Gengar... Yeah, Gengar is the only thing that... I, like, Gengar Great Tusk, sure, that's good. Gengar King Ting Lu, even, that's good. Sure, I, yep, yep. Um, and I, again, you're picking up the Great Tusk. You're picking up the Great Tusk because it's the best one on the board. Yeah. You should build the draft around the, the Great, Great Tusk. Tusk. Uh, if you don't want to go the Sun Draft, even though you're picking up the Screamtail in the fucking yeah eighth, no, sorry, the tenth round, tenth. he doesn't even have like like something that has Sunny Day. Like, there's no Sunny Day on this team. Sure, that fucking Oracorio gets Sunny Day or some bullshit. Does it? I'm sure some mon on this team gets Sunny Day. I'm not concerned about that. The real issue is Nine Tails was available, right? Sure. Yeah. And Nine Tails. Why pick up the Mousehold at BL when this draft revolves around getting the Nine Tails uh -huh. as your OUB? Um, instead of this fucking bullshit Ting Lu as well. Um, yeah, if you go Great Tusk, Ninetales, Gengar, that's a really solid three. Yep. And then you build your draft around that, and then you know you're getting the Screamtail last because you know that Jose can't afford the Screamtail. Uh, without it, I'm just like, I don't really care for this draft. The point of this is, team sucks. <laughs> Team Masquerade's sucks. cool. Masquerade's Screamtail's yeah. cool. There's a lot of individual cool mons. Team overall needs an overhaul. Yep. The Gengar is the saving grace of the team, I think. Gengar and the Screamtail, yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah. Uh, again, just drop Ting Lu, get Nine Tails, uh, and then. I mean, the the goal. Okay, what he should build this team to be is where opponents down with hazards and Screamtail supplies support with Wish. I. That's how. That's how you pivot, I think. That's fair. That's fair. I think how I would build this team 
is I would have the secondary stun component, sure. but I don't yeah. have to rely on it. Yeah. Um, because honestly, you could just run the memento nine tails, right? Yeah. Um, and then I would probably drop the mouse hold for just a really strong, um, presence, right? Because Haxorus is what I put. I had mouse hold for Haxorus. Let me take a look at BL because there's a lot of power in BL. Honestly, ditto. I want I want another sweeper. I want another sweeper outside of Gengar. Let's go, villain. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold but on. What man. if? <laughs> <laughs> but wait a second. But what if it fixes all the problems on the team and more? And what is Nine Tails at? Nine Tails is at OUB. Okay, so you go Ting Lu for Nine Tails. Not bad. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. That's not bad. I would drop Typhlosion in that case. I think or alternatively, you go for the Sweet Coon, which I think is also fine. Ooh, I like that. Um, yeah, I think I, I think I like both of those. The Typhlosion is weird on this team. It's like meh. I like the Kari on this team actually. I, yeah, I obviously the weakness overload is a big thing on this team. The lack of synergy is a big thing on this team. Yep. We talked about how it needs overhaul. I don't think there's much more else to say. Yeah, he shouldn't be winning games. Yeah, it, it won that game against uh, Jose because it was the perfect storm. Like it, it is perfect the weather, perfect counter team. Yeah, I don't see it winning another game. I I don't think it will. Yeah, um, but we'll see. You know, and there's always the possibility. Yep. And honestly, from what I will say is that I remember Aaron being surprisingly impressive throughout we last season so yeah i think he's gonna run great tusk as a the, the booster energy a lot i think that'll happen a lot i think he doesn't have a choice yeah yep uh okay i have this team 16th um i have this team 15 because Orion is worse i think it's harder to waiver for this team actually i i disagree i mean i think that two waiver core kind of fixes a lot of the flaws even then you get synergy but it's just not a good team still i don't think i i think that makes it into a team that you can work around the other thing is with the Aryan team, right? We had to name off what three waivers in the team was still like, oh, it's okay, I guess. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I, I, it's it's a different. It's the second best Sun team after we. Uh, is it the best second best Sun team? It might be the better Sun team. It might be the better Sun team. Yeah, the thing team. is, it's a great Tusk is that strong. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yep. It might be the better Sun team. Okay. Um. Okay. Fernando Pressamon, Shanghai Sharpedos. Uh. The four final member that we have to go over of the. Hardest division. Objective hardest division. Yeah. I, the triple council member division. Triple council member division, yeah. And also the last council member on this list. Actually, that's a lie. Tickle's on the Tickle's list. Tickle's on the list. So this is one of those teams where we were talking about earlier where they go for their OUA that they think is strongest on the board. Yep. They immediately pivot their second pick into what they think is the highest value, BL or lower. Yep. Like, he went for Swampert, and then he picked up Celesteela to go with it because it has the ground. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's a really good three. That's a really good three. I was want, wishing Nato was here because because you don't like the Swampert. I know I, Swampert's great. Yeah. It's just not a second. Like the Gallade is a second round mon. Like if I, you, I don't think the Gallade is a second round mon. I don't know why the fuck they keep valuing it that highly. Gallade is like super mediocre as a mon. Okay, I, I value the actually. Swampert more than the Gallade. I'm gonna cave to the Gallade not being amazing. Okay, I think I actually I might agree with that, but it's still I I don't I think this is the third or fourth. Yeah. And I understand that Nando picked it up mm -hmm. in, the, in the second because he knew for an absolute fact that he was going to get Celesteela mm -hmm. if he waited. Because he's playing with Tyler and Tickle, who he's drafting for, yep. and the last person is Quinn. Yep. Uh, so Nando knows and, for a fact. Yeah, and because it's Tyler, he knows Kyle's going for the Corbinite, Corbinite Volcanian. every fucking time. Yep. It's literally the Corbinite Volcanian because he doesn't know how to do anything else. Yep. And Quinn just went Gold Dango first, so he's not going for another Steel type. Yes. You're safe. Right? right, you're fucking safe. I understand that. I still don't like... There is another Mon that we have not gotten to that I think was the best mon value Mon on the board. And Tickle got it in the ninth fucking round. So it's it's Metagross. Yeah, um, yeah, I... I uh, and I went through that... Like, I was telling Nando how good I thought this Mon was, and I was like, look at all these fucking moves it got. Yeah. Holy shit. And Nando went... Yeah, but Swampert got knockoff. Metagross also got knockoff, by the way. Right, time. right. <laughs> yeah, but Swampert, he got knockoff. Swampert has flip turn. Did you hear that? Yeah, I know, it, I know it has flip turn. I know it's a good Pokemon, but like, just that comparison of like, Cal, like uh, him, go, him going like, no, it's t Metagross, fucking worthless. But Swampert, Swampert got knockoff. it got knockoff. <laughs> it, it's a good knockoff user. I'll yeah. say that much, but it's definitely... Do I agree with taking it at second? No. What? I don't. However, yeah. when you know it's not making it back to you at fourth and fifth, and you know that the Celesteela is making it back to you and you're safe on that... Yeah, I think it's fine. It's just, yeah, it's fine. And <sighs> that three 
I do like that three probably more than any other three outside of my own three. Uh, I'm going yeah, through, I agree with that. Yep. I like, just I like the Bobby three. I like my three, and I like the. Um, I really like this draft. I, I don't I like want to like three. I, I'm kind of egging you on with the Swampert because I just yeah I think it's an interesting discussion, and I might have even not picked it. Like if I know that I'm not getting it, and, and I I wait for. No, maybe I do wait for the third. Okay, maybe it's fine. Yeah, maybe it's fine. We'll maybe, we'll maybe see. it's fine. We'll maybe. See. I'm giving it a maybe. I, I'm also on the maybe train for Monkey Dory. I don't think this mod is good, but everyone else is convinced that Future Sight U-Turn with an ability to 30% poison is fucking broken, and I... Maybe. We'll see. Um, uh, I'm higher on, on it than you, but I think I'm in that middle where I'm like, it's good. It's not... It, it, it's really good on this team, actually. I like it on this team a lot. Yeah, but is it better than Gengar? He, didn't, he wasn't going to get Gengar. He Gengar, wasn't going to get Gengar. Yeah, but yeah. even still. Uh, um, I think this team does have a problem with steel types. I don't think I agree. Swampert is your answer? Swampert or Celesteela, and Baxcalibur gets EQ. I, uh, okay, I don't... The Monkey Dory Caesar is where I really have a problem. Like, yeah. th Those other ones don't do amazing with it. And then you have Remember, Monkey Caesar Dory. does have close combat. <laughs> I, I forgot it. I forgot yeah. it got that. I forgot yeah. it got that. I forgot it got that. Here's my thing. But like right? Rever Room, same thing. Braviary, same thing. Vanillix, same thing. I think that he went way too hard on, oh, I'm going to force them to click fire move on the Thermal Exchange Mon. Like, it's funny until... Why is this Thermal Exchange? Thermal Exchange is Baxcalibur's ability. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. it gets the plus one attack if it gets hit by a fire move. And I think he went way too hard on that because you have the Caesar, you have the Celesteela, you have the Rev of Room. Oh, sure. The I see, it. I see it. Yeah. I see it. I mean, like... And at the same time, Baxcalibur is only neutral to fire moves. Right. It doesn't uh, get the um, resistance. Swampert's so. good against it, though. Swampert, that Swampert actually... is good against it's, it. And, it's good. Um, if you want to... Like, if we want to talk another one that's, like, relatively good. But here's the other thing, right? I know for a fact he's dropping this Togetic for a Togetomaru. And that's another one. And it's uh, just, like, uh, you're, you're, it. you're really trying to base his fire attacks. I'm seeing it. You're in a division where, you know, you have to deal with the Iron Moth, and I just, I'm, you're gonna have to deal with this Entei that's now an Infernape. Yep. I don't think that you deal with these mods. Yeah, I think I agree. I think, I, that's a great point, actually. Yeah. Uh, the Infernape especially, I think, is really funny, because Infernape clicks close combat yeah. on Kitbax yeah. and Grass now on Swarm. Right, right, right. <laughs> Um, I also, there's other problems with this team too. I think that, uh... There are other problems with this team. Again, this is another gimmick team, so judging it on the metrics that I've previously used isn't as applicable. This is the team that plays without its gimmick the most. Yep. I don't even think he brings Vanilla X most weeks. Yep. I think it's just there. And, um, and I want to say that I think, as we're all on the topic of Vanilla X, I don't think he has to bring it every week. I think it was rated too low. Yep. It's the BL. It should have been the OUB. Yep. Me and Nando both wanted it at OUB. We both thought that this mod is way better than the Abomasnow yep. and the Auroras. Yes. It's way better. And we were we were disagreed with by the other three. It's a physical take that has can set up both screens at the same time. Like, it's not the Ninetales. It's really tanky. It is honestly as good as the Ninetales. And yeah. the fact that it can just choose... All right, I've set up my hail. I've set up my screens. Baxcalibur can come in and win. Goodbye, and it clicks explosion. Yeah, that's way right. way better than the other two hail or snow setters. Yeah, I, not comparable. I think yeah. that I think that the council messed up on that one. I guess we'll see. I think that this team really struggles with getting rid of hazards. Actually, I agree. Um, you have the Hitmonchan, which I think is not bring Brat most You have Caesar with Defog, but you don't want to bring that. You don't want to bring Defog. And then you have Togetic, which is being dropped. Um, I, I I don't know. Uh, granted, Wait. does he really care about the hazard stack? Not really. You think of Rebel Room? Yeah, does, it, does it have Rebel I don't think it does, but... Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so... Rebel, Rebel Room is a mon that he is insistent he can make work on this Hail Draft. And I'm tempted to agree with him, actually. I actually like it. Yeah. It's uh, it's one of my favorite picks on the sale draft. Yep. It has parting shot. It has uh, shift gear. So yep. it can set up itself. Um, I'm tempted to agree. I think I like this mod a lot. I think that I like it a lot less when I'm looking at it next to the Caesar and the Celesteela. I agree. But And the Token Amaru that's going to be on there. But Why is the Token Amaru? Dear God, why? Because when he was doing his draft, he wrote Tog. No, I know. Yeah. I, I know. Token Chick makes no sense. But, like, it shouldn't be... Togemaru. Pick up Wigglytuff. It's way better on this team. 
So his team is doomed and he can never fix it. And this is why he's the lowest ranked council member on my team. Sure, list. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think this is actually a really good team. Um, if Nando were here, he would say he's number one. Um, no, I because don't he disagree is not, with that. Because he is not, he yeah. said, and I quote, you can just both say that I'm at 16th and call it a day. I I'm not doing to, that. I've decided to average out those two scores uh, and give him the ninth. Uh, I think this is the third best team. Sorry, uh, did I put him at ninth? I think he has clear win conditions, uh, defensive options that can uh, act as a versatile depending on their set. Seven. And it has Bax Caliper. Bax Caliper is really good. I want to see it in the Hale team so I can ban it. That's where yep. I'm at. Yeah. Um, I, I think it, that those low seven. picks, <laughs> those low picks are really good. Like they're, I, I really like all his. I like Braviary. I like Rubber Room. I like Vanillix. Yeah, I like all those. Like I love them. Uh, so yep. Um, I just yeah. I I, I need to see the team in action. And I th- Hitmonchan is really good. I I don't think he's gonna use it. I think Hitmonchan's really good. Yes. Um. <coughs> yeah. Anything? I think it's really good behind screens too. Actually, I think it's really good. Bulk up rat muck punch rabbit spin. <laughs> You're just a, you're you're just a great Tusk user. <laughs> you're just a great Tusk you're man. You're just a great Tusk man. Uh, I didn't have any changes for this. Oh no, wait. I had a Togedic for Magmortar actually. Um, I like the Magmortar. Magmortar is really good. Yeah, but he'd or, be like Mag, Magmortar, but Swampert got knock off. <laughs> yeah, right. But Cal, <laughs> did you know <laughs> that Swampert has knock off? Also, this team doesn't have great speed control. Uh, so I put Electrode as well. I no, I don't agree with the Electrode. I don't think that this team needs. Speed control because this team is the setup team. Sure, I think uh, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. does it want it? Sure. Um, yeah. Does it need it? No. I, I would have also liked a ghost type on this team. I think I could agree with that. Just, I mean, like you just get rid of the most common form of getting rid of your screens. Like I think. Yeah, break, break. Yeah. Um, I I could agree with that. Um, yeah, I I don't know what I would drop for it. Right. Maybe. I agree. No, I don't think you do. I just would have liked it. You know. Yeah. Maybe I would drop the um, drop the Musharna or the Togetic for like a uh, Haunter. I think you could honestly get rid of Caesar. Uh, it's really hard to say that. It's really hard to say that. I don't know. If I don't think he's getting rid of the yeah. Caesar. I don't know. I don't think he does it. But like, yeah. Knowing how many other fire resi- weaknesses he was going to grab, I don't know if I grab Caesar. But that's why he grabs the Caesar. I know. Yeah. I, I understand what you're saying, though. I get what you mean. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we can move on from. Yeah, you know. it's my third best team. It's a really good. I was nitpicking. It's yeah. a really good team. I have it at seventh. It's the best outside of the gimmicks. I think Mike has the better gimmick. I think. I think I agree with that. Um, yeah. I think that this team will do well because I think, it's Nando. Yeah, I think this team, I really like its gimmick. I, I think its gimmick is so fucking strong that mm. you didn't need to invest in the gimmick, yes. and that's why it, it works. It works. Yep. Yeah. Uh, um, also, he drafted a side gimmick, which I wish he didn't do. I wish he did played it like a normal fucking hail team, and so we can actually see what it's like. What was the side gimmick? The side gimmick is trying to get the a thermal exchange on the... Oh, yeah, no, it's funny. Yeah, it's it, funny. It, it's funny. It's funny, it's but not it's good. not fucking good. It's not good. It's not good. He's going to get blown up by a tickle. <laughs> yes, correct. Uh, correct. <laughs> going on to Quinn. Quinn, my man. You drafted the gold dingo. And then... And then no hazards. <laughs> it's like I'm watching the Ethan draft all over yeah. again. I mean, there is... Okay, I looked at this team and thought there is absolutely zero hazards on the team. There is some hazards on the team. There's Stealth Rocks from Mudsdale. There's Sticky Webs from Leovani. Arcanine has uh, Stealth Rock. Brombadier has st- Stealth Rocks. Toxic Spikes from uh, Weezing. I would have liked Spikes. I would have liked Spikes. I agree. Um, I, I think a Fortress on this team would have gone a long way. I actually put a uh, Chestnut. Chestnut is also very good. Yeah. Um, also, right? Glamora is on the board. Like, it's the weirdest thing on the planet, right? Yeah. Yeah. Here's my big thing, right? On paper, the Goldingo Medicham is not bad. Yes. Agree. Completely. On paper, Agreed. they cover everything together. Yep. In practice, I don't like Mega Medicham. And we've been over why I think this mon should drop. I like Mega, Medi- Mega Medicham a lot, This with this, especially with this team. I think I would have liked the Mega Gallade more. That's a hot take. Why do you like Mega Galley more? Uh, 10 more speed goes a long way, and it's not like... If we're going to sit here and say Mega Medicham is good because it can trailblaze now, Mega Galley can trailblaze now too. Yeah. Um, if we're going to sit here and say it's better because it can fake out and bullet punch, then there's no trailblaze argument and it's just worse anyways because, like, yeah, it has the priority, but uh, Goldingo's not a team where you're... Especially when you're drafting around this, the Ivani and you're, you're going to play the webs and I'm going to deny you from getting rid of my but then, webs. But then, the, but then the, the 10 speed is less of a problem. The 10 speed is less of a problem until we get into this argument of like... The thing with the Mega Meta Sham, right, is that you either are running this fake out bullet punch set, which he didn't run against Tickle, uh-huh. and then he got completely fucked by uh-huh. an Azumarill. Yep. Or I'm going to run this Trailblaze set and it's just a worse version of a Mega Gallade. 
And Okay, I, I think I'm seeing it. I think yeah. I could agree with it. Um, and I think I would just personally value that more, especially when I'm going to pick up the Weeball beforehand and I'm going to Pursuit Trap, which I think is great. Goldingo, Beanie, yeah. Weavile. Right, those are awesome. Great, great three. Yep. Um, I don't like the Zoro that much, but I understand why you would pick it up because Zoro's a really good mon and it doesn't share yeah. the ghost weakness with Goldango. Yep. Yeah, whatever, normal type. Um, and it also, it fits with the Weavile too. I think yeah. it fits with a lot of things on the team. Yeah, I'm just not a Medicham believer. I, I will never be a Medicham believer until it does well. And this is the first that Medicham has been drafted in nine seasons. Yeah. At one point I had this team and this is the worst on the board. I thought it was just ridiculous that the... Uh, the lack of hazards. I don't think it's that bad, actually. I, it's I think not. Yeah. It, it's, it's not that bad. Uh, uh, I overreacted for sure. Uh, I like the. I actually really like pairing terrain with Goldango. I think it's really funny that you can't remove the terrain. Yep. I think it's really fucking funny. Sure. Um, yeah. It is the worst terrain, though. It is the worst terrain, though. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I like pairing Zorark with Goldango. I like just the those like those first couple picks. I really like all those picks. Yeah. And then it just fall apart. It was just like, what are we doing here? You know what I would have really liked on this team. If you were to go, obviously, I still like these picks, but if you were to go Goldango in DD, and then you pivot your third pick into something that excuses expanding force, like a Mega Zam, yeah. that's a fucking banger three Mon core. And like, you have some, uh, you have some like, Mons that, like that. You need a Pursuit Trap for them, right? But you get the Weavile fourth anyways, because you got the Weavile fourth. Sure. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, like, I, I think that fucking hits. And then you just have to pick up the rest of your type chart, which you kind of already did in the back half anyways. Um, yeah. But the Feeny is obviously still good. I, I think that the Relky yeah. is fine. I just can't help but think that there this were... This could have been way better. Yeah, it could have been way better. It could have drafted better offense. Yeah. I, I think I like the Zard X more than I like the Medicham. Oh, I, I, I like that take. I like that take a lot. I really like that take. Yeah, because again, if you go in the Feeny, you should always go the Zard X. Yeah. That's a good 2-1-2. Two, two. Right. The weird thing about Feeny is it defogs his own terrain away. Like, it's not synergizing yeah, with... Feeny's not defogging anymore. We're we're past that. We're on okay. a Carmine Drain Got Kiss yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes, you are correct. It is weird. It is weird to have to run it that way. Yeah. Um, Like, I would want a Rapid Spinner on this team instead of a set of defog. Yeah. I with that. I think I agree with you there. Um, Trampa? I, you've, oh, no. Trampa's defog. Trampa is defog. I think the other thing that I really wish that this team had... I really wish that this team had just some better pivots around it, right? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't really pivot on its own. Goldingo can't Zora really pivot pivots. on its own. Zora can. Um, but Medicham can. Arcanine can. Or, uh, Bombardier, sorry. I ran the wrong one. Yeah, but not... I don't think Bombardier's seeing the play. You don't think it's good enough? I don't think it's good enough. Huh? I think it's a really mediocre mon. Um, if it does see league play, I'll be surprised, and then I will watch it do nothing, and I will no longer be surprised. <laughs> um, At 103 attack, 82 oh, speed. Rocky payload. What does that do? Uh, stab to rock moves, which it only yeah, gets rock slide. Right. Yeah. Uh, I think that's. I think that's really fair. Yeah. I think it's really fair. Uh, it, it's cool. It's uh, it's a decent utility for an RU, but I mean, it's his rocker. That's what it is. It's a decent utility for an RU. I'm not gonna take that away from it. But if that was a Heliolisk, yeah, wouldn't this team be better? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. There's a lot of things that would make this team better. I I said that I didn't hate it, but I also don't really don't love it. Don't particularly like it. Yeah. Uh, um, and I can agree with that. And. Um, yeah, I mean, we briefly touched on Tickle just kind of fucking this team over with the Azumarill. Um, I think... Was he I, gonna pick up Azumarill? Oh, no, in the first game. Yes, yeah, in yeah, the yeah. first game. And I just think that's kind of indicative of how little answers this team has to actual offensive pressure. Um, yeah. If you can just kind of get the setup going, yeah. I mean, your options are... Scarf your Goldingo or bring the priority on the Medicham, and that's about it. I, I mean, granted, this team has a lot of good priority. It has Medicham, it has Weavile, it has Arcanine. Yeah. I'm not too worried about that, but you do, you have to bring that every week, and right. that sucks. Right. I think that this is, it's going to be really hard to win games with this team, I think. I think it's, yeah. It's going to be, I think if you get rid of Medi Mega Medicham and get it faster, Mon, I think it's better. Yeah. Yeah. Where do you have this team? I have it a little 10th. Do you have any waivers that you want to get out before? Uh, Mudsdale for Chestnut and Crustle. The more is on the board, I said drop Weavile for it. I don't think that's right. I don't think you do that. It's just too drastic, Ooh. too fucking late. Ooh, hold on. Lamora's a BL? Yep. It's. I think it's too late. What's his current BL? 
Uh, his current PL is uh, Zoro Kasui. You could do that. I think I would do that. I think that's a well worth the sacrifice of yeah. losing Zoro. Yeah. Um, yeah, I currently have this team at, I think, 10th. Let me make sure. Yep, 10th. And Nakamura is still on the fucking board. Like, I don't get it. The thing is, when there are now, like, 400 mons that are able to be drafted as opposed to, what? It was, like, used to be 250, yeah. 300. More things just keep falling to the wayside. Yeah. Like, and once like, again, we have a split where Aegis Slash falls to the. <laughs> didn't we talk about Gamora? Uh, Gamora Goldango, yes. Goldango being We've like... been talking about this ever since Goldango came out, yeah. yes. It, it should be. It should be mandatory that you go Goldango Glamora yeah. and then third. Right. He can still do it. He can still do it. He managed to just wait it out. Um, I. I don't think he drops the Zoroark, which sucks, because Zoroark is like a really Quinn Shaper Mon. Yeah, but like, okay. You should do it. Every. Okay, you're saying you don't think he does it, you think you should do it. I think every other person, when told, oh yeah, Glamora's still on the board, would make that trade. I don't think Quinn does it because he thinks Zoroark is really valuable. I thought the same thing about Quinn. Yeah. Uh, I thought, okay, maybe he gets rid of Weavile, but I don't. But I think it's just too drastic to do that. I think you have to get rid of the Zoroark. Yeah. I, the Weeball is still probably one of the better picks on this board, on yeah, this team. So, yeah, yeah the Zork, Zork is overlapping with enough things where you can afford to drop it and yep. you won't really bat an eye. Yep. Um, yeah, that's about it for Quinn. Uh, Tyler Esposito, the... <laughs> this is his team last season. <laughs> this is, wait, and his team before that too, right? Yeah, yeah, no, because the Dragon Pulse is just a grin snow. He's going to yeah, run yeah, Reflect yeah, Light yeah. Screen. <laughs> yeah. Reflect Light Screen U-turn instead of Parting Shot. Right, right. This is the same team. Yeah, um... Oh, now, to be serious, we've been taking shots at Tyler this whole draft. Yep. This is not a bad draft. It's not. It's, it's not It's just all. nothing new. Uh, we've seen the Corviknight, Volcanian, uh, Drukalji, Primarina time and time again from yeah. this man. I'm not impressed. I want to see something new, and I didn't get something okay. new. Okay, I will say, I thought his last four picks were really great. Sure, sure. I think that he managed to make this into three picks. I'm not going with fucking Luxray, dude. Luxray's not good. I like Luxray! Lu Lu Trailblaze! 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 Luxray had Trailblaze, Trailblaze last split. You know what it got this split? Supercell Slam. You know what Supercell Slam is? It's, it's an invitation kick. to lose your fucking it's Luxray. High <laughs> it's high jump kick. It's an invitation to lose Luxray. It's high jump kick, yes. Yeah, it's fucking worthless. Um, I'm a Gigalith believer, man. I'm a Gigalith believer. I'm a Mega Garchomp believer. I, I, I want Mega Garchomp up. I've won a Mega yeah. Garchomp up. Um, Hoopa Unbound is where I'm at. A little hesitant. Okay, I think this is the team for Hoopon Bound. I'm a little hesitant. I on think that. this is the team for Hoopon Bound. I don't think that this team does enough to play around a Hoopa. And I know you're not building around the Hoopa, you're building around the Dragapult. I don't think Hoopa does enough to help the Dra Dragapult break through a team. <sighs> yes, it is a strong dark type, it breaks through a lot of walls, right? But when you're looking at it realistically, right, is that enough to get the Shadow Ball Dragapult specs going? Especially when, like, this team is just... Uh, like, I, it, it's a Tyler team. Tyler's going to be able to yeah. play around it yep. really well. I think um, that this is the team for Hoopa U because it's filled with slow pivots to bring the Hoopa U in. It, and it's... It has the Dragalgy and the Corviknight and the Primarina, yeah, I guess. Primarina yeah, yeah, right. right. And, and it has a bunch of bug resistances galore. Sure, sure, sure. If I, there my was... Thing is, my thing is they should combine that fairy weakness. So it's yeah. bad. It's bad when you're because like his fairy immunities, yeah. oh, sorry, his fairy resistances are the Corviknight Volcanian, and at this point, everyone knows that like realistically, right? If I'm Bobby playing into this team, I'm using Bobby as an example because yep. he has the enamorous yep. Magmetric. I'm fucking shooting through this team. Yeah. And, oh, okay. I one of my notes on here is this team just needed to invest in better steel poison types. Yeah. Like th th that solves the, that solves the fairy problem. Yeah. If it has a better mon than Cobalion, I think that this team. Yeah. Would, Reflect way better. Right. Um, like, this is the team that wanted the Rev Room. Yeah, just to combine the two and then you pick up a better mod. Yeah. Are you priced? Yeah. Sure. Sure. I can see it. Um, I, and then you don't have to grab yeah. fucking Dragalgy either. Yeah. Again, I like You the can pick up new Pokemon. <laughs> the Garchomp, I think, is the glue that holds yes. the team together. I really like the Garchomp on this team a lot. Yeah. The Hoopa is where I'm hesitant. Yep. The Garchomp, I think, fixes a lot oh. of the holes. Especially in the just the Tyler draft as a whole when you're going for this Corviknight Volcanian screens, pivots, yep. slow team. It's having a mon that can actually abuse that properly with scale shot. Yeah. Valuable. Valuable. Yeah. Couple things I want to touch on because yeah. it sounds like you were about to move on and I don't want no, to. No, I have a couple things. Okay. I, have to. Uh, I think that 
this is, you know what, like, you ever, okay, so I'm gonna, I know you know what this is, so yeah. I'm gonna describe it. It's called a stat stick. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, a thing in League where, in any game, in any game, sorry, yeah. where you just have something that has more stats than the opponent, and if you just stat check them, like, yes, do my stats are higher than yours, can you survive? Like, it's not, I'm not doing anything special, I just have more stats. Yep. And that's what this team is. It's just, I have a lot, I have a lot of stats. Can yep. you handle that? Yep. Mega Garchomp is the premier stat stick. Yeah. Stat stick. Um, another mon, uh, not on this, well, I guess Hoopa Unbound was the original stat stick, yep. stat stick in, um, Gen 6 and Gen 7, where it was just, I click Hyperspace Fury. Can you survive? Can you, can like, you live that? It's like, no. And then we got more and more mons that could, and yeah. it's like the value of Hoopa Unbound went down, which is why we've had to move it down to OUB. And it's still good. All of these mons are still good. Yeah. But if you do have the stats, if you have the raw numbers, yeah. you don't really care about this team. Right. I think this team also wanted webs. We have that. I, and then if, if everything it, else is like, whoa. If, like, it, if it were me, I would drop the Lux Ray for a web setter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I would have picked up Leavani on this team. Right. But yep. obviously couldn't beat him to it. Positives about this team. Uh, the BST King returns. BST. Yep. Uh, he's really experienced with all these Pokemons. Um, the Dragapult, I think, it's not a mod he's ever drafted, but it fits his playstyle yeah. so really well. well. Yeah. Uh, and he should be well aware of how to navigate this. Yes. Okay. I think he did an exceptional job with those last five picks. Maybe not the luck right. Mike was arguing with me that Tyler has consistently the best finishes to drafts because he doesn't pick up his OUAs early on. Yeah. And I would challenge that. I think that he actually just is good at doing this strategy. Yes. I think he's... This strategy of the point reduction. Yeah. Um, yep. Where he's picking up what he values the most at a lower tier. Yeah. Corvinet Volcanian. And then saving this OUA for late. Um, picking up what's still strong on the board. And he did a yeah. great job. He identified, I could pick this weird sand team. Yeah. And I... It, Gigalith is good on its own. Garchomp is good on its own. I don't need to run them. Yeah. Together. I, I think he just did a good job at the end. Yeah. I... I will agree with you that he is very good at ending out a draft. I think that my main thing is when I am looking at this, I don't care. My my thing is I don't really care. It's nothing new. That's why you don't care. Yeah. It's not even that it's nothing new. It's just I don't care about these mons together on a team. I don't care about these mons by themselves. Like, when I'm looking at it, I'm just like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, when I'm looking at like, the Dragon Ball Mega Garchomp, I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, look at all these shared weaknesses. Koopa, look at all these shared weaknesses. Oh, he has to rely on Corviknight Volcanion. Yeah. But, like, it's so easy to break that core. It's just like, he has to play the game well. Yeah. It's all relying on Tyler. And granted, Tyler is a really good battler. Yep. And I think that he is still... No, I think that he is now playing on the tier two schedule instead of the tier one schedule yep. with Swan and got swept. Up. Yep, um, which I think was a good change. It was a good change, was but the... it makes Tyler's schedule easier by two games. Yep, and I think that if he plays those two games well, he will make playoffs. He will probably make it to the quarterfinal, the semifinals. Will he have the ability to break? Through? Right, he's been doing the same thing. Like yeah. he he got to the. He didn't get to the finals last time, right? He got to the quarterfinals, I and mean, then I think he lost to. Um... Yeah, I want to see because I challenge you guys to move Tyler down because I thought Swan was the champion and should be up and yeah. he's yet to finish he's had really strong regular seasons and he's yet to have that finishing power um he did win the UU split whatever if we count that um, I don't I... I don't he won the first rookie split he was in if we count that I... no I don't <laughs> win a regular season split to uh, be fair when you are a rookie coming into this league there's a lot of learning you have to do. Yeah. We are well experienced. We're eight, nine years into this uh, Pokemon drafting bullshit. Yeah, but you're learning against fucking dipshits. You're learning against plumbers, my son. <laughs> you're the plumber. <laughs> you, you are the plumber. You're, you, you are Raditz coming down from space to fucking shoot a shotgun shell at the farmer. You, you are the plumber. Oh, God. Oh, wait, we need to rate Tyler. Oh, yeah. Um, hold on. I do have my Tyler rating right here. I have him at... I have him 8th. I have him at 11. I like this draft. It is just nothing new. It's nothing new. And there's still... Again, I've said it before, I'll say it again. There's a lot of that overlap in terms of the cores. And I think that if he's playing that 6-mon core that I think he'll play, I think that it's really easy to break through. So he I... has to bring those lower tiers. Yeah. But I think the lower tiers are good. I mean, he prioritized the lower, the lower tiers are good, but when 
you're picking up Hoopa Unbound and you have to, you know, consider, oh, am I gonna drop Hoopa or am I gonna drop Mega Garchomp or am I gonna drop the Corviknight Volcanian core? It's just like, you're not dropping any of those, man. Yeah. yeah, okay, I think that's fair. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Brendan. Mr. Ursaluna, man. LA Lake this, is, Spirits. this is the only man out of 17 people. This is the one person that's like, Ursaluna is the first overall. Everyone else is like, what the fuck? Yeah, I, I think it's a really good mod. I don't think it's first overall. I think I, it's... I think he just wanted to play with the bear because he's the yeah. Ursaring fan yeah. through and through. He's like, bear got an Evo. I want bear. Bear number one. Bear number one, baby. Um, I I love this fucking team yeah, so fucking much. I will much. say he turned it into. What is worthy of a first round pick draft? Yeah, I, I, this uh, team is so unbelievably juiced. I think it's almost approaching your team in quality. I think you are fair in saying that. I look, we're gonna just say it right now because we've gone through all the other teams. We both have this at number two, right? Yeah, this yep. is my number two. Yep. When you are, this is actually just like a master class in how to build around your first round pick. Yep. I think that I drafted just well around like what I like to play. Yeah. This is how you build an Ursa Luna team. Yeah. What do we, what do I pick up with an Ursa Luna? I pick up a strong ghost, Lecephalon. Yeah. I pick up a strong flying type to avoid um like grass types. I pick up the Sapdos G. Webs and Screams and Orbeetle. The Azu is probably the most missed opportunity pick because again, Nando fucked up. Even still. I actually like Azu a lot on this still, team. Even still, Azu is a secondary, well, a tertiary um, yeah. physical breaker. So you are just making it so much easier for Ursula. I, okay, TBH, I don't know if I get rid of Azu on this team. Like he wants, what did he want? He wanted the... Mega Absol for Pursuit Trapping. Okay, he's fucking right. Yeah. Um, um, yep. <laughs> it, it's hard to argue with the man yeah. who knows how yeah. he's doing his draft. <laughs> right. He's fucking right. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, and then you just keep going and you keep making these excellent pickups you're picking yeah. up mine you're picking up um diancy with the stealth rock spikes now uh the metagross that we talked about earlier even the arbo leva which everyone was like arbo leva is not good um with a trailblaze mon like ursa luna where you don't even have to run earthquake because you're just running facade yeah shit dude it works it, it this team is it's 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 synergies galore. They're, the Orbeetle is actually, I think, the perfect mod on this team. Yeah, it does I agree. everything he wants. It puts up webs, it screens, it sets up on its own. It's just the, the perfect fucking Pokemon for this team. And the funny thing is, Orbeetle is the mod that's most affected by all of these bans that we've done. We ban Body yeah, Press, right. we ban and it just keeps coming back. It just keeps coming back better and better. Yeah. Everyone's just like, wait. Okay, I also, this also can run Trick Room for it. Like, yep, I think this team, Trick Room. I think this team has the most ways to win a match. It yeah. has the most, the, the highest number of paths for the, probably the most talented team builder. Yes. Um, and if you were missing out on that team building aspect, there are uh, multiple videos then, on yeah. this channel yep. about Tickle's team building and how he does it back when he was a championship contender. Yeah. Um, and this is the man with four championships under his belt. So if anyone knows what he's talking about. Right. This, this is, he's, he's, he's I think he's back to try. I, I am, I think he wins. Yeah. I think he wins. He is back to try because he literally, before this yeah, play, posted his random yeah, yeah. ranking. Yeah, Tickle is here and he is out for blood and yeah. he wants a win. And I'm excited to see it. Right. This uh, team is just so fucking good. It's so good. Oh my god. It's so good. The only thing that I have against this team and is barely like a thing at all, I wish that he had gotten a dragon type. That's it. I just wish that he had a dragon type. I like this team way more if it has. What do you want? What do you, do you want a dragon dancer? What do you want with this team? Um, I just want to finish that fairy still dragon core with the Azumarill and the the. But the Azumarill's no longer the team. Okay, well then with the Diancie or the Mime G, yeah, like sure. he, he, he has a lot of fairies. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mime Geller isn't a fairy. Mime Geller's ice psychic. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I think I'm Mr. Mime. Yep. It's like the fairy. Um, yeah, Mr. Mime G, by the way. Probably one of the pound for pound best rapid spinner at its price. Yeah. Um, I, uh... Yeah. I... This team is just... It's... I think that the problem with this team is the Mime Gallery is... Like, the one thing that I see is the Mime Gallery is the one hazard control on this team. It makes more sense when he has the Mega Absol, right? Like, yeah, it makes because, a lot more sense. Yes, because then magic that, is, bouncing. that is Magic Bounce yep. on, and you can probably just, like... If there's any person that can play the Magic Bounce game, it's Swan and Tickle. Yeah. Those are the only two that can do it, I think. They're yep. the only two that can get away with it. Yep. Um, because they are the most experienced battlers in their heydays and their primes. Yeah. Um, I couldn't do it because I rely too much on um, pivoting, and I couldn't do it by myself. Yeah. I have some more positives about this team. Go ahead. Uh, I love Metagross. It's, yep. it's got so many buffs. It's an. It should be. Metagross also has Trick Room now. I know it has. Yeah. This team, 
Okay, I have something very funny later about. I want to make this into a trick room team. Like, I want this to be a better trick room team. I'm literally looking I at want to be a trick room. And I'm like, I, that's the best trick room mon he could get. Right there. This this mon right here is already the best trick room no, mon. No, 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 no. This one is what I want. You see that top line? Okay. I want this team to pick up Malamar uh, so we can run room service trick room. I think it's really funny. It's really funny. Metagross is insane for this team. It's... It's, I think it's sleeper OP, OP pick. I, it would be my number one pick going in to the season. And he got it in the ninth fucking round. This is your number one pick overall in the draft? So? No, no. <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah. In terms of value, you're yes. talking about. Yes, yes. Who was your other one that you were talking about? Uh, I liked Infernape a lot. Yeah. Uh, but I Infernip think this... Go. So you like his BLs a lot. Yeah. You highly value them. Oh, yeah. I would pick up both of those BLs and be like, just, ooh, ooh. Um, I think that there's so many good trick room mons on this team and he has so many great leads as well mm -hmm. that it's just like well what do i prepare for there's yeah. orbeetle there's metagross there's uh diancy there's so many good ones agron even and again we keep talking more and more about this team and it uh, more of these synergies keep popping yeah. out where it's there's so many things that go into what takes this team from just like a regular team to a team that can work in battle right yeah and i think yeah that is what you want to draft around and to be fair to tyler tyler's team does a lot of that well as well um i'm just not interested in it because i've seen it three times yeah four times four yeah whatever yeah. however many times i think that this is the more interesting team to talk about yes i think that yours is the better team I, hey man you don't gotta you don't gotta tell me i know i'm the better team. i think that is me <laughs> i would not be surprised if you lost to this team this is the one where like you're gonna have to fucking try you're yeah, gonna, I mean, I, I have to try for all my games. It, it's gonna be so hard. Like, like I might get rid of Diancy, or I might get, might get rid of. Yeah, don't don't say any controversy by saying I'm gonna drop Bagron. He's not gonna do it. Right, I'm not gonna do that. I mean, it got lowered. It got buffed. Yeah, it, Brendan yeah. literally got buffed by Agron dropping to. You, you know who did that? You, me. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm a good friend. Yeah, you're a good friend. This team is really good. I'm excited to see Brendan play. I think he's a great battler. It's the highest other BST team other than Tyler too. Yeah, um, yeah. I, it's it's literally just. I cannot wait to see Ursaluna in the hands of someone who really wants to play with it. Right. Um, I'm so excited. There are so many mons that are new where you see them get drafted by teams that don't really care. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad that's not the case. Yeah. Tickle really, I think, cared about Tickle this. Tickle more than anyone else cares about this draft. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, this has been the Will Pick, uh, your number one pick for Draft League content and the official podcast of the Midwest Pokemon. You're about League. to clap, right? No, I am not about to clap. <laughs> Stop clapping! <laughs> I've been Python, go to the Portland Tail Blazers. I've been Cal, I'm the coolest building. The coolest building of them all. I'm the biggest building. I'm the coolest bird. Thank you guys for watching. I know this has been a doozy at three hours. Yeah. You know, we, we can edit this you. down. You're gonna edit this down to like 30 minutes, right? I'm gonna edit this down to like two and a half hours. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. See ya. See ya.